everybody, welcome. We are at episode 12 of Factions of Fate. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you are able. Small channels like this one are basically invisible to the larger YouTube audience. And I won't dare them to comment this time. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. So we maybe you guys, the way you should. Maybe these the people here probably have tremor sense because they can sense us even though we're not being we're invisible to everybody else. <laughs> uh, so uh, share us with your friends and get the word out. I uh, we appreciate it. We're deep into this part of the adventure, so we don't need to really waste any time. Are you guys ready to get rolling here? Yes. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Spiders. All right, here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Previously, <laughs> after vanquishing the evil that had plagued the Barrow Woods, our heroes returned to Tribor, only to find the town eerily quiet. Rumors swirled about the bugbear chieftain, King Yarg, who was allegedly raiding caravans along the long road. Uh, but the most pressing issue overshadowing everything is the upcoming election with the mysterious object beneath the Lord Protector's tower. Lord Protector Dorothra Chandrell, in a moment of candor, candor, how about that, admitted she was a Harper agent uh, guarding something significant in the basement. She hinted at a strange rock that had fallen from the sky years ago, uh, long before she had been here. A rock Ekinkar was once tasked to protect in the in the uh, shrine, Ekinkar. but lost when a tribal soldier betrayed him a at the at the later shrine. So yeah, a lot of a lot of history going on here. Ekinkar. Uh, don't have to worry about taking notes. We'll just keep you apprised. So. <laughs> uh, the group soon encountered Rothwell's challenger, an imposter disguising itself as Duvessa Shane. Duvessa was coy with Ekinkar and smug in her demeanor. It's clear that the imposter believes she has all but won the election. Uh, our group uh, bartered beer for directions to the tower uh, on the of the old road where they believed Duvessa might be hiding out. Mm -hmm. uh, their journey led them to an arcing sign and a hidden pit containing fiery spiders and a huge Hungry. fire worm. Yeah, but no tequila, so we were all a little bit put out. All right, after a thrilling battle, the bar party rescued Hemo and destroyed the nest, although uh, Ekinkar was, uh, was severely injured in that battle. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't mm -hmm. did snap back. That's good. Yeah, I'm feeling like spry. Nice, feeling good. <laughs> Our adventurers decided to investigate the nest, which led them down a side passage uh, that winded its way beneath the old road. They encountered old spider webs that seemed to be attracted to their metal, and eventually a cluster of spiders that pulled the party in using webs. That got me real good. Yeah, it's like Spider Man, but not a man. Yeah, they've got thwips. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there was also a zombie with blood <coughs> pouring from his orifices. Just that word is gross. It's really like, moist, bloody. Moist zombie. orifices? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, if we if we say any more one more of those words, we're gonna yeah, probably no. lose half of it. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> our heroes make made quick work out of the spiders and found the warren of an old druid long since gone. They found a journal. You guys remember the journal? Yeah. Uh, where the Druid admitted he, he and his companions had stolen Utgard artifacts along with Utgard armor, a <laughs> hammer with the markings of a horse and a small horse statue. All of these were enchanted. So got some enchanted items out of that deal. Not bad. And gems. <laughs> yeah, and some gems. Yeah. Now they have, they have located daylight at the end of the tunnel, but their curiosity is getting the better of them. They went to take a look down at tributary and found more spiders with these with these bulging, almost balloon-like abdomens. This is going to go well. Yeah. Ugh. And here is where we roll initiative. Let's roll initiative. I'll bring the tracker up now. All right, everybody in the tracker order? Let me bring it up here. Quick, everybody hide. <laughs> everybody abandon Drew. Where? We're already <laughs> in their net. Uh oh. No, you said this was a really well, maybe we are, but this you said this was a pretty unused uh set of cobwebs here. <clears throat> Old, decrepit cobwebs. All right. I thought so, anyways. Yeah, we're ready to get everybody's in? Yeah, I think we found yeah. that the cobwebs might have been from previous creatures and not the ones currently here. All right. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with uh, Jaru. You hear some. You hear some uh, co commotion uh, around the corner. Suddenly, you hear this tsh -tsh, bunch of clattering, clicking from both down this area, from down here somewhere, and around the corner. Uh, you get to start us off. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I will 
Uh, ready a chill touch. Chill touch is repaired. Perfect. All right. All right, that brings us to Flander. Flander, there's something going on. What could, what it is, you don't know. You just hear a bunch of commotion as you hear this clattering. What do you want to do? I will ready my crossbow and I will give inspiration to Jeru. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. I gotta put Zinder in the tracker as I forget <laughs> all the time. 11. I'm 11. All right, uh, that is Flander. That brings us to Lear, the Earth Elemental. Lear, I will reveal what you see. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. All right, what you, as you come around the corner here, you see that there is a, there is a big open pit uh, with, a, with a bunch of, of uh, spider webs and stuff like that. But, in, but more importantly, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, two giant, uh, two of these bulbous spiders sitting right here. It's up to you what you'd like to do. Uh, but you are able to take action first. You one initiative. Um, I have reach of ten feet as an earth elemental. So from the wall here, I'm just going to Smash. poke out and attack this Smash guy. Blood. Smash All blood. right, go for it. Twenty-four. Twenty-four will hit this thing. It takes fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. Nice, nice. Go. Do you partial like, cover because you're in the wall still? Does it disappear? No, it doesn't. It's not one of those. Yeah, does anything happen upon that? Otherwise, I will tell yeah, you Yeah, I will, I will tell you in a second. I will <clears> double check because all these creatures have these little special things that are going on. All right. When you hit this creature, what happens? When you start your turn, you have to give me a, a constitution saving throw. When he starts his turn? Yeah. He's good at those. So you start your turn within 10 feet. Ah. Yep. What'd 21. you get for your constitution saving throw? All right, nothing happens. Let's see. All right, nothing happens. Well, it, 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 you made your attack. Gonna Anything else it. you're going to do? If, if that attack hit and it seemed to be good, I'm going to swing again. 14 to hit? 14 will miss. Will miss. Okay, that's fine. And then I will back up a little further into the wall. Nice. Communicate to Hemo telepathically. Face there are two spiders in there. Don't be close to them. There's something... Wrong. Do they explode when you hit them again? Not upon hitting them, but they, ha they seem to have some sort of stink upon them. All oh. right. Everything All right. about this cave stinks. <laughs> All right. These cre it is now these creatures' turn. Uh, you see these sp these spiders. They're they're they look like uh, kind of reddish spiders with these giant bulbs, almost look like balloons that are swaying. Oof. Uh, uh, go are bad. they moist? Uh, no, they're not moist. Stop it. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there a way to get what's what's the opposite of inspiration? Uh, Perspiration? <laughs> Aggro. <Okay>. Discouragement. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, 10. All right. Looks like Hemo is my is my lucky person. I will, I will take my oh, no. shot. Go ahead, take your shot. <laughs> That will hit. 12 points of damage and nice. not heal. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Let me know if I try to heal myself. If he pulls out a med kit, slap his little <laughs> down. All right. He, uh, Hemo, he, he runs up to you. Uh, he's going to... All right. This is what happens. You need to give me a... Contested grapple check. Okay. Um, can I use acrobatics? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, so like an escape. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Acrobatics. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and my indomitables used up. I don't think that your indomitables. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you used it at, since you did a short rest, but I think you did. I'm pretty sure. I you have did. used indomitable since the last short yeah. rest, but yeah. I think it's only saves anyways. Either way, that's a one on the acrobatics roll. <laughs> For a total of 10. All right. First of all, this this balloon thing that's in the back, it launches out like a bit, literally a balloon as his back just goes. Uh, this huh? balloon uh, gets launched at you. It enters your space. You see that Hemo is literally engulfed inside this balloon, this balloon situation, and he begins floating up. And uh -huh. when he does that, he floats up to this. He basically gets, it gets attracted to him like static. 
<laughs> and when he does that, the oh, creature God. then is going to start making, start eating him, eating him from the inside, eating, uh, using his balloon structure to do a goal. So oh, he's God. going to get to do, he draws you in automatically. And if you're within, he gets a fight. So I'm stuck to the spider or the webs you're stuck around to the balloon. Me. You're literally engulfed in the balloon. You are considered. Part of his body though, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, no the the balloon itself is separate. He oh. literally just attracts you with through it through like I've a been bubbled by a projectile. Yeah, yeah, you are you are in there and he gets it's just considered an attack at this and point. What's his condition? You are not you are considered you just cannot move. Yeah, everything there there is no negatives or disadvantages. You're literally in a bubble that you can move within, but the bubble itself you can't control. So you're just you're not considered grappled or anything else. You're just hmm. inside there, but you can escape with an escape check. You just can't move out of the bubble. But the spider can attack within the bubble, and that's what it's going to do. So it's going to make his attack on you. So he doesn't have any like bonuses or detriments nope. to nope. the attack? Okay. Yeah, he's just basically being controlled inside of there. Uh, however, the creature I think we does... Should have read through the, the spider journal that yeah. we found a little more yeah. thoroughly. All right, he's going, to hit armor, he's going to hit an armor class of 20. Who, who's got that book? Oh, what, what does it say about this? 20, right. 20, that's gonna hit me. All right, when he hits you, hits piercer. He has this long, almost like a, like a, uh, like a hummingbird would have like a long piercer. It, it put, it sucks as like almost like the suction up to the edge of the balloon. It goes, it shifts in and jabs him and starts drawing out and uh, mucus and uh, life force from uh, Hemo. He, uh, Hemo, you're gonna take, you're gonna take uh, six points of piercing damage, and you're going to take. Six points of lightning damage. Ooh, lightning? As you hit you for lightning damage. Yep, yep. And two points of necrotic damage. As you just basically, it's almost like a, it's almost like this, this something inside of it just starts, starts withering you away and sucking it out. <clears throat> and you see the spider's just like, it's like almost an ecstasy as it's just sucking you in. You're like, ah! Hell, gross. Yeah. All right. That's that one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It gets to here, and it's going to join in the bubble fun. Oh, no. <laughs> that one's going to miss you, though. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This one comes running out. It's going to join in the bubble fun. This Ooh. is why we practice flips in sword school. Uh, he's going to miss you, though. Do your flips. Do your flips. Ha-ha! This is like some crazy Cirque du Soleil show. Yeah. <laughs> this one runs out to here. Uh-oh. And this one also runs out to here. Oh, wow. All right. Just yeah. dashes or they... Yeah, they just dash. They go... Gotcha. Yeah. All right. That brings us to the next person in line, which is... Emo? Good timing. I can still move. No. Well, I can't move, but I can I can swing a sword. Yeah. You said right. you could try to escape. Yeah, it. you can you can try to escape or you can try to attack him. Uh, it's your choice. Your choice. Escape will take your turn, or you can just attack him. You don't get any advantage or disadvantage. You're basically you're basically uh, attacking him. The only time you have disadvantage is it does a limited amount of damage with bludgeoning, but you're not using that. Okay. Um, yeah. Screw, screw it. it. This is. Where I should be, I try to spin around mid bubble, and uh, catch them with my swords. So I'll probably draw my backup sword, and then I'll attack. Um, let's attack the guy in the middle. All right, sixteen to hit. That will hit. I do twelve points magic slashing. Second attack is a thirteen to hit. That'll miss. Okay. And my bonus action to offhand attack with my second scimitar. Might hit him. Uh, not not so good. Also miss. Both Anything else you're going to do, you're kind of in this bubble. You're kind of like running around like uh, you're, you're, you're like Glenda after a, a, a night out drinking beer. Just can't control <laughs> that bubble. Uh, no, I think Hemo just says. Um, oh, actually. Just picturing Glenda on the side of the road trying to get action. a cab. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
I say, I, I can still fight from here. D don't get hit by the bubbles. Okay. Don't get hit by the bubbles. Anything else you're going to do? Are you done? Uh, nope. That's what. That's all I can do. So I'm done. All right. Z Zendra uh, will will. Uh, she uh, sees what's going on here. She's going to go ahead and give this one attack. Going to uh, draw her bow and give it two attacks. She's going to hit once. She oh does God, some damage Zendra's to this one me. right here. She strikes it for a little bit of damage. All right, uh, ec and she lo she looks over and she's she's like oh my she's like holy heck uh, he he he's like in a bubble what's going on <laughs> Eck, get in there did you <laughs> say holy heck holy heck he looks over at her she she she's like, like she she's like don't fucking look at me <laughs> <laughs> looking That's around for like children, children she, she's she's just like she she, she, she she was like all stammered by what's going on she's like what is going on here. <laughs> All right, Ekinkar, what are you going to do? All right, I am going to shift to here to get into flanking Theo. All right. And bash that one. This one right here? Yep. Go for it. Uh, so 20 to hit. Oh, for, first of all, you start at your turn. Give me a, a oh, saving yeah. throw. Constitution, uh, right? Yeah, it's a constitution saving throw, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, 29. No problem. Go ahead. Now, right. now you run over there and give it a uh, shot. 20 to hit. That will uh, hit. And uh, five points bludgeoning. <clears throat> All right, you hit it for five points bludgeoning. Um, As you hit it, it's like almost rubbery. Uh, I was like, whoa. Mm. They just kind of, they kind of, you kind of hit them. You feel like, wow, these, these, these things are resistant to something. They're bouncy. Uh, you think right. they might be resistant to bludgeoning damage? Yeah. All right, well, then I will smack it again. 23 should hit. And that will hit. No, I'm not going to. I won't smite again. Uh, 11 points that time. Much better. All right. Point. All right. All right. That 11 points was full damage, and I cut it in half after that, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. That is that is Ekinkar fighting these these rubbery, bulbous, balloon-type creatures. I don't like creatures. them. I'd much rather have them explode than dupe the bubbles and rubbery. Theo, what are you going to do? No, I've been damaged so much by exploding enemies. <laughs> this Yo, is fine. I'll take this. Give me a constitution save. You got it. Do, do, do. Ooh, I only got it. Uh, All right. You are in my aura. Oh, so I got a 15 then? 15. All right. You made it. Good job. Woo, good aura. <clears throat> that aura is clutch. Um, it really is. All right. So I've got <laughs> these thunder gauntlets, and they do... Thunder damage, I believe. Yes, they do thunder damage. Thunder. I know you're saying that uh, bludgeoning was. Uh, yep. Uh, bludgeoning seems to be resi they resistant. appear to be resistant. So, but to he's going to try these thunder gauntlets. So I'm going to punch that same one that Akinkar was uh, just working on. This guy. All right. Here. Go go gadget thunder gauntlets. <laughs> uh, Twenty four hit. This is the one you're hitting, right? Yeah. That will hit. Yep. Eleven points of thunder damage. All right. It's been thunderstruck. I'm going to hit it one more time. Then hopefully, second attack. Ooh, 12 plus student flanking to hit. Does that, does that get him? Uh, 12 14? plus flanking? No, he misses. All right. Second shot misses. And Ooh. then I'm going to use my bonus action to turn back on my defensive shield. Shield up. All right. And what does that defensive shield give you? Nine temporary hit points. Awesome. All right, Jaru, it is your turn. Initiate blade song. How many times you get to do that a day? I get one more after this. All right. I'm, I'm watching. Um, I will, that was my last defensive shield to answer the same question. Okay. I will step forward to attack. Do you want me to make a save? Uh, I did. Oh, you haven't made the save yet, so go ahead. Everyone, you have to make it the first time, and then once you make it, you're fine. You said constitution? Yes, constitution. What did you get? Come on, Mike. You Oops, can... that's that is that did the right make the right <coughs> roll? I was wanna make sure. Ugh. There's my constitution. All right, that's okay. 18. You got a, what a, a 18? 18? Yeah, you made it. All right. All right. You made, the, you made the save. I had my, I had them all ready to go so I could. Yeah, yeah, faster. no problem. So now go ahead and do what you're gonna do. What are you gonna do? All right. Uh does a fifteen hit? Uh fifteen does hit, yeah. All right. Hit with the first one for eleven. 
points slashing and psychic does 11 points of slashing and they take both slashing and psychic so and it they doesn't take matter full damage okay. yeah uh and then i'm also doing the booming blade on the second one nice so we have seven more points of slashing and uh psychic and then eight points of thunder uh yeah thunder for the booming blade all right and when they do it's like a uh -oh. Pops, <laughs> and and when it does that, an electrical sphere erupts all uh, around it. Uh, Everybody within five feet of it needs to give me a dexterity reflex. savings throw. Reflex uh, dexterity saving throw. There we go. Oh, ooh, twenty-two, twelve. 12. Yeah, uh, eleven. I'm not going to use the the ring. Yeah, all right, all right. You got you. you, oh, you know, saving throw. They need a fifteen. You need a fifteen. So, did you get a fifteen? Anybody know. who didn't get a fifteen, they're going to take six points of electric damage or half if they Ooh. if they. Uh, it's only five, five feet, feet, right? Hemo isn't in the range five. of this one. Nope, nope. It's it's, yeah, it's six good. six if you failed and three if you if you <clears throat> passed. And five feet, yes. Yeah. At least so. All right, uh, Jaru, are you done? I am done. All right. Let me remove the the, the, the casualty of war. All right. Next up is Flander. Flander, what are you gonna do? Flander is going to run up here and cast Thunder Wave on these two guys here. Ooh. Hey, wh where are you gonna run to? You're gonna run to here and cast Thunder Wave on these two right here? Yeah, these Got these characters. Got it. Uh, a cube yeah, I can get those two. All right, what's my savings throw? 17, be... I believe. Okay, 17 or better for Constitution. Constitution, all right. One of them, this one made it? This one failed. How much damage do I take? Okay. The one that failed will take... This one failed. This one This one made it. This one failed. <coughs> we'll take eight points of thunder damage and be pushed ten feet away. All right. The one that didn't make it, or the one that did make it, gets four points of damage and doesn't move. Got it. And then I will take my bonus action to disengage and run up next to Zindra. <laughs> <laughs> well, where did you move from? You were up here, right? Moved yeah. Right here for a moment. Yeah, so you move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That you move, that's 25. That's right here. So disengage doesn't give you any more movement. You only have five more okay. feet of movement. So, so you can move five more feet. Okay, then I will move to here. That's totally fine. All right, and I got to make sure I get the hit points up from here. You did, right. And that's the one who made their save. Got it. Okay, perfect. That brings us to Lear. Lear, what are you going to do? Uh, Lear will... Poke his head out of the wall again and take a couple more swings at this guy. All right. Go ahead and swing away. Right in front of Flander, who probably appreciates it. <laughs> 25 yeah. to hit for All right. 18 magical bludgeoning. All right. You will, you will destroy that one. Woo! I need everybody in Dang. the five foot area of vicinity to get a 15 dexterity save. Made it with X bonus. With my new armor, I get advantage on dex saving throws. There you do. Nice. So it's seven or three if you failed. All right. And with my raw speed, that's a 20. Nice. 25. Way to go. All right. Well, uh, Hemo still being ballooned up. These things yeah, are that was a separate things. So I assume the balloon's still there. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't escaped. Uh, yeah. I will also take another swing at this guy here because I have reach. Got it. And it's a twenty-eight Dang. to hit. Woo. That will hit. Sixteen magical bludgeoning. Nineteen on the die. Crazy. Wow, that's awesome. And so, how much damage did you do? Sixteen. Yep. Yes. Sixteen. That was a good shot. It unfortunately they only take half damage from from bludgeoning. That's okay. That's all he's got in his repertoire. He's more of a tank anyway, but then he will, um, he's actually going to move and get in the way of the spider. Got it. Boom. Perfect. All right. Uh, I wonder if it's bubble can pick you up. All right. So it's, it's their turn. It just runs over the wall and runs over there. <laughs> I am the wall. Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem like food, apparently. Yeah. I am the wall. This one will move five feet to here and they're going to attack. They're going to attack Hemo. They want, they want the balloon. Uh, they want the blue animal disadvantage at least on this one okay yeah that's Maybe. that's some balloon food right there that is. it's like eggplant all right i i, I rolled two fours so your disadvantage may or may, you can determine whether that was a good choice or not <laughs> all, right. all right the other one the other one attacks that's going to definitely hit you so it's gonna be 16 plus whatever so you're got you're gonna get nailed for that so you're gonna take my ac is 18. 
Yeah, I have a 16 plus five. So I rolled a 16 plus five. Mm. So I'm going to hit him and that's going to be a 26. Uh, so it's me seven points of piercing. 2d4. Jeez. Yeah. 3, 4, oh, 3, 4 points of electrical, not that much. And 4 points of necrotic. So, 15 all day? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you have to give me a constitution save. I did not make you make it this before. I failed to ask you for it. Digest it. 15 and a con save. I'm gonna uh, use my parry when I take that damage. Um, okay. So I'm gonna roll a superiority die and reduce that damage by four plus dex mod, so reduce it by nine. So it'll take nine fewer damage. Nice, nice. good okay. idea. All right, idea. Cut, cut off that damage and then you, and then make a constitution save. All right, con save is a 10. All right, 19. all right, now, now you- A 15, yeah, with uh, X aura. Okay, now you are uh, considered paralyzed. Oh. All right, and uh, with that, because you were injected with paralysis, uh, they get they make it. They can use a, a bite action or a move action. They're going to take it. Uh, they disengage. Just here, taking you with them. Crap. <laughs> Man, that's so much movement too. I'm paralyzed. I don't think I can take any action. You're literally like they have it. They're being dragged. You're just like floating, and it's just, you see this. You see this ball flying around. And he's like, yeah. and you're it, it's just, it's just, it's just you're running food. away with the ball floating behind you, almost like a kid carrying a little stick. And he's like, look at I got. A, can I take my sack of opportunity on that? No, they get to disengage as part of that. Okay. A hungry kid carrying his food stick. Yeah, when you fail to say they get to disengage, they can attack or disengage with the, with their prey. Uh, so that is, uh, I think I did ever, did I do every, no, I didn't attack, do anything with this guy yet. Sorry. Uh, Theo. No. Uh, they are going, it's going to, uh, it's going to attack you with its ball. It's going to. Balloon, yeah. And I got to double check to see what I need to do. Dive, dodge, dip. You need to give me a opposed grapple check. Dodge. Or just do. Uh... <clears throat> you get advantage on those. I don't remember. This is just a skill check, right? Yeah, it's a skill check. Yeah, acrobatics. Ooh. Acrobatics. You can use either one, but he's probably going to use strength. I would guess. Athletics. Ability check or saving throw. This is neither of those, right? No, it's an ability <laughs> check. Uh, it's a contested ability check. It's strength. Gotcha. I well. Uh... What do you want to do? Well, I was thinking about my flash of genius. I should. Uh, it's up to you. To add that in there. How many do you have left for the day? I can use it as a reaction. So let me see what I roll first. Uh, I haven't used any today yet. Good. So well then, you know, they have a resource you got. What are you gonna do? <coughs> to get those this back thing, on this thing is, is our, one person's already yeah. running away with yeah, Hemo. I was trying to, I definitely would feel the need for that. All right, well let's try. I scream for help, but it's not working. <laughs> I'm gonna do athletics because I can um, use my. So this is why I was taking a second. Sorry, my okay. armor of magical strength. Uh, if I'm making a strength check, I can use uh, a bonus from it, so it, it can help me. Like, to, you remember I was trying to fight out of this thing? Uh huh. Um, just double checking. I have any more of those left? Because I used a few of those before, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah there. Yeah, I've yeah. used two. Before. All right. What do you want to? Okay. So, what so I'm gonna like do, to do? Um, the athletics, but I'm gonna add uh, four from the magical. Okay. Armor you're gonna use your mag You're gonna use your armor to charge you up and just yep. just not get caught in the stupid so thing. So I'm adding four. To whatever I got here. All right. The so twenty one plus the uh, nice. This five doesn't count, does it? Uh no, because it's it's not. It's a skill check. Yep. The, the see the ball gets shot out. Mm, and you dodge it. And it goes <laughs> just kind of pops. It pops. And you see the bot. It's perfect. Back. I have to see if it charges though. It starts blowing up. Ah, <sighs> dodged. All right. Dodge parry thrust. I couldn't parry a whole bubble. Or all right. Paralysis. Uh, it's now at the end of your turn. You get a you get a saving throw for the paralysis. So you, okay. get, to do, you get to make it at the end save, of your turn. Save, save. So we got to make a make yeah. a make a constitution. If you start at the strength. beginning of his turn and that car is or does it count or no. no? No, no. He has to be in it at the time he makes the okay. save. All right, make go ahead, make the save. Con save. Here we go. 
Come on, big money. You got 16. It. You made it. Hey, so at the nice. end of your turn, you're no longer, but you basically lose a turn. Okay. Am I still stuck in a bubble? You're in a bubble, but you're no longer, you're no longer para paralyzed inside of there. Hey, you did it. Which means okay. he can no longer freely move you either. Okay. Um, he has to make a check to move you now. Nope, you're in the bubble. He can freely move you. He just doesn't get free dis disengage. I apologize. All right. That is it. That's uh, Hemo. Zindra's turn. I got to move this because this got out of the way. And can we see what's below uh, Hemo? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, draw it up here. Bring up in, in the reveal. Uh, who's over there other than Hemo? Hemo, I, I guess you could see it. I think you're the I only one. I think I have one. a pretty good, yeah, I have a pretty good eyeball that direction. 10, right, 20, 30, 40, 50. I guess we have another 15 feet down there with my dark vision. All right, what you see down below is... <clears throat> it curves to the right, hey? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. And, at, and right here, you see, uh, it just uses the same token, but I marked it with a pink. I marked it with a pink. It is, you see a nest of a bunch of babies. Ooh. No. <laughs> well, they Zark. need to be fed. Yeah. Yeah, we got Not by me. All right, oh, Zin not by Hemo. <laughs> Zindra. Hemo, it's the circle of life. Come on. <laughs> Zindra runs over here. She, she runs through the, uh, to the crowd she's got her bow out she was like she, she runs it runs here and, and uh she will i'll put her here and she's gonna fire at the one that's on theo she, she's like somebody's gonna go after a hemo <laughs> <laughs> just, looks you like think? he just planted his feet he might be okay oh I, she hit one more she hit once he'll call down hemo there's, there's nothing alive. to stand on he's still alive. how do i plant my feet he's fine zindra you hear him oh yeah i'm sure he's loving it all right, that was Zindra. She runs over and, and plunks two uh, arrows into that uh, okay. this one creature right here. It is Ekinkar's turn? Ekinkar, what do you want to do? I am going to yeah, map up. Uh, I'm absolutely crazy. I can't move down. I'll take the AOE. What are you gonna do? I'm running down to Hemo thirty. Feet you're down you're gonna move Hemo. between these two right here. Well, I was standing right here. You're yeah, I'll right take here? the AOEs. From the, okay. Let me do uh, let me do it, the attacks on you. First attack. Uh, it's gonna miss you. Second attack. We'll miss up. you. They'll both miss nice. you. Nice. All right. Then I get down to this one. Way to tank. And attack it. Go for uh, it. And I am going to smite. Okay. I'm attacking the spider. Yeah. That sounds smart. Uh, really, I, you so... could be attacking Hemo as well. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> so We're not seven sure. I am not eight. a pinata. And then an additional 18 points of damage. Of Radiant. All right, 18 nice. for Radiant, so let me mark off that first. And then half the damage for the Blood The good thing, news is it's is really six, easy to move Hemo around right now. Seven Blood <laughs> Just grab the bubble and drag him back up. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Oh, and, uh... All right, you hit the thing. attack. <laughs> no, oh, no, one. Oh, no, a little min max. No, no, not that here. great. Yeah, not that no, good. not that great. <laughs> All right, then that, that'll do it. Theo, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to attack the one in front of me since second car is being the hero down there. The whole, everyone, there's auras <laughs> everywhere. No, good, I'm like, good luck, everybody else. <laughs> more Thunder Gauntlet action over here. Ooh, uh, 10 will miss for sure. Yep. All right, second one's definitely going to hit, though, for sure. Yeah, it did. Yes. 26, 26. Yeah. 10 points. This is the one you're hitting? Smash. Yeah, the one right in front of me. You hit him for 10? Yes. And you said it was lightning da or thunder damage, right? Thunder, yes. Boom, you hit, come down, your fist comes down. This creature's it's pretty loud in here. It's got a it's oh, little, yeah. uh, big ball. It's just... Did it, did it regenerate that ball, the bubble? I, I'll let you know on its turn because I have to roll the recharge. Cold roll. I thought it was we better hope greater I'll, restoration I'll, I'll, includes tonight. I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, <laughs> it is. It's recharging. <laughs> it recharges on a, on a really four, five, six. It recharges quite fast. No way no. Oh, wow. All right, Jaru, uh, what are you going to do? Step over here and attack once. 13 is probably going to miss. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, next 15 one. is the armor class we need. <clears throat> next one, I'll attack. I should have flanked. Um, yeah, I, no. Um, next one's going to be a booming blade. Come on, uh, 25. Here. That one definitely. There we go. And. 17 total points. Oh, nice. That's, that's really good. And it's booming. 
All right. Um, all right. Remind me if, if you see him move or if I move, just remind me he has it. Out, well, keep track of all that easy enough. I hate putting markers because I forget to take them off. All right. Jaru is done. Flander, what are you going to do? If Flander is going to cast Ray of Frost on this one down here. Which one? Are you going to uh, this? Yeah, this little dude here. All right, you will, you will. This one down here, you're gonna cast on it. You have to do it with is an attack roll. Uh, yeah, it's a range attack roll. Yeah, that will require since you're you're firing a weapon next to somebody. Remember, that's disadvantage. You can also move first if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you're standing next to, basically, if you're being threatened and you fire, <laughs> you have to do this. Okay. Uh, um, can I move to here? Would that give me any better? Nope. As long as somebody's with an okay. enemy is in within. Yeah. Within their like, attack reach of within, you? Within, okay. Usually well, within five. It's almost I'll always like attack. I'll just attack this one. All right, go for it. Yeah, just stab him. Punch him. Yeah. You, got a big yep. you, okay. has, you have a crossbow in your hand right now, right? Yep. So what do you want to do? You want to, you want to hit him with the butt of the crossbow? Can I just punch him? You can punch him, but you're not going to do a whole lot of damage. I think it's one point of damage. Mm -hmm. He's got the, the strength, though. One yeah. plus strength, yeah, so yeah. Still... Yep. That, that will be true, because you have the Gauntlets of Ogre Power, which gives mm -hmm. you a, what, plus five? It'll be bludgeoning damage, and it'll do half of that. Yeah. Couldn't you oh, bonus yeah, action disengage and then do the... If he wants I probably could do yeah. that, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, well, bo I'll bonus action and disengage then. All right, move your six squares. Okay. I only need to move to here, don't I? Uh, yeah, that's it, yep. Yep, know. okay, then I will disengage, move to there, and uh, cast Ray of Frost on this one that's... Perfect. All right, make your attack roll. Okay, and that is uh, big money. Uh, Boston. Uh, Nineteen. That will definitely hit. Nice. nice. nice that that Thirteen points of cold damage. Nice. Oh, he has to make a Constitution saving throw. Do you get sneak attack damage on this? No, not close. No, no, no. There's another. Oh, I rolled a natural twenty high. on my save. Unfortunately. Okay. No. But get paid. Okay. Well, then, then he doesn't. Then he doesn't get slowed down. Yeah. You want me to make my saves? May roll my twenties now and not win like that. <laughs> but there is another <laughs> enemy within five attacks, feet yeah. of it, though, and I think sneak attack. But he's is... too far away. I think it's it's yep. thirty feet. Also, you yep. can't do the magic attack unless you're a trickster. Oh. And he was shooting the other. No, that's right, because he's casting a spell, not this bow, Ooh. right? All right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, that was Flander. That brings us to Lear. Lear, you got this dude in front of you. He's just sitting uh, here. This creature is a smash. You see him puffing out. <laughs> puffing up his chest. <laughs> Jeez. 28 to hit. Nice. 17 bludgeoning, so half a minute. Um, then, oh, the 12 will not hit. Yeah, you rolled a 19 in that roll again. Wow, you're just rolling <laughs> crazy. How much total yeah, damage you do? Um, just 8. Uh, total eight. You're oh, talking about half, half the damage. Yeah, so eight. A bit, Seventeen over yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Hit it. Got it. All right. Bloom spider things. The one on you, as we as we established, is already recharged. Uh, it's going to require you to give me an athletic contest again. Is it Theo? Is it going after Theo or? It's going after Theo. Yeah. Well, oh, Alan. Well. Okay, Alan, Alan. You know what? Hmm. Alan, you know what? It, there there is no safe on the uh, on the ray of frost. So he is, his speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. All right, thanks. Let me know if I move him too yeah. far, okay? Yeah, I had to double check. <laughs> nice. All right, that's fine. I don't, I, I, other than Baldur's Gate 3, I never use Ray of Frost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, uh, good point. I'll just, I'll see if he's going to go after Jaru or go after Theo. I'll give you a 50 50. It's very noble of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get advantage oh. on it. I get advantage on it. Uh, the F -F and I punched nice. the crap out of the balloon last time. It would be yeah. Okay, he, he's actually gonna go after you. So give me, go give me the, give me the. Uh, Good luck. What'd you get? I have an 18. So that's what you gotta be. All right. So, but you have advantage and all kinds of good stuff. Oh no! The heck is gone, so I failed. I'm gonna give oh, him as no. no flash of genius. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't have been able to help you on that. It's only saving throws. I'm gonna use oh, my flash right. of genius to give you a plus four uh, oh, on that. And that'll, uh, he's just right next to him. Maybe he does something similar with like his armor where he just sort of like gets in the way a little bit. No, no, no. No, that's cool. Like, like Helps you, you you're helping each other team, teammate power. Yep. yep. I'll mark it yeah. off. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. What uh, resource does Flash of Genius use up? Uh, it has its own counter uh, for, for it. 
and uh, it, it is you get four of my an artificer thing. Yeah, so it's up to my. Uh, it says I have four down as it's my your number. Intelligence I think bonus it's number a number of times up to my intelligence modifier. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, it, it's basically kind of like Ekinkar's aura, but he can do it from range and only a few times. Basically, yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Up to yeah. 30 you, feet so the creature just kind of, kind of it tries to, mm-hmm. and you, you, you're almost there. You're like, and all of a sudden, you see it. You may, maybe, you, maybe he was like, twist to the left. You rotate and just kind of <laughs> vibes past you and goes, explodes. All right, this other one that's sitting right here. Uh oh. All right, it's going to. Uh, I can't disengage. What can I can't do? You're too big. It's gonna have to eat the attack of opportunity, unfortunately, and move to here. So you're gonna attack of opportunity on him, uh, Lear. You're gonna attack of opportunity. Yes. On him. We'll take it. Slam him. Twenty-six. God, to- he he has been slammed. Box. All right, he's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna that. take uh, half of that. Is what? Uh, le- oh no, no. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah, Not seven. Bad. All right. Nice. He does that, and now who is he? Ooh, he's got three attackers. He can attack. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. Yeah, Flander. 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 <laughs> Contest. I, well, thankfully you got your gloves. I'm but... actually okay with this. Hmm. It's fine. Okay. What do you got? I'm sitting at a 17 right now for my attack. My check on you. You can give me okay. a, an athletics <laughs> or uh, or acrobatics check. Oh, I think I would go with acrobatics. Okay. Oh, 29. Right, you fine. made it. It Jeez. goes mm-hmm. right, pops past you. Nice. All right. Meanwhile, this one, this one here. Uh, Hemo, I cannot move you, uh, but what he can do is stay here. So this one here, one, two, three. Uh, this one here moves the up the babies. Up. Oh, the babies. my gosh. Uh, not the babies. Up. And the babies actually take go into the space. They literally swarm no. inside of the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And they 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 start attacking. It's so awful. All right, what I need you what I need you to do is I need you to give me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a ten. Oh, I don't have an indomitable. You, you don't have an abdomin- you, you don't have an indomitable. No, right. I just have Ekinkar's aura for a plus right. five. You are now paralyzed. Does you the are... fifteen get it? What's that? He does have oh. Ekinkar's aura. Ekinkar's aura doesn't. Uh... Oh, that's right. It's Constitution save. save. 15? Does fifteen do it? Yeah, it does. You, you made your save. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna take half this damage, and you are not paralyzed. Ooh. Oh, geez, so... so much damage though. Not paralyzed is good though. So yeah. yeah. So you're. I'll, I'll give you it all. It's gonna be uh, six points of, of piercing, plus. Um, Plus uh, four points of lightning, so that's ten. Plus three points of necrotic, thirteen points of damage. Because I don't think you take any any. Uh, what's that? And then divide that by two. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. You know, so that you take <laughs> half of that damage as these things are swarming all around you. Oh, you're just yeah. fighting through it as the half the, of thirteen. We round down. Yep, it's so interesting. They don't do any. Six points, so they actually don't do six points of damage. They kind of they're kind of electrically charged. Yikes. Yeah. It's, and they're inside there with you, uh, sh- running around your your. Uh, and every every, every round day. every round you're in here, you have to you have to make this save. Oh boy! All save right. versus arachnophobia. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's rough. All right, it doesn't sell me in here that this thing only gets one bubble. It doesn't say that they only get one, so I'm assuming they get multiple. So de- uh, so Ekinkar, give me a. Uh, Athletics contest of athletics check. Okay. No, Ak, look out! <laughs> I, I didn't roll that great. Crit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-seven. <laughs> what a waste of a crit. <laughs> yeah, you made. Not it. a waste. I can't get out of here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, to be uh, fair, you haven't tried. And I'm trying to try to yeah. put you like uh, right here, maybe. I think you haven't. You just were like attacking, right? You're slicing. Yeah, he hasn't tried to get out. Yeah. I mean, they're in melee range, and I can attack them freely when they come up to move me. So why not? All right, True. Hemo, you are no, you are still not par- paralyzed. Uh, you, these things are all, just think of them, they're all climbing off the edge of the bubble. He's like moving around there as he's, all these spiders are inside this thing. You're trying to attack him. He's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, he's trapped in a space. All right. That was awful. Um, that's pretty gross. Um, Sorry, didn't mean to do that. 
I'll try to attack the larger spider that has been trying to drag me away. All right, go for it. 21 to hit. That will hit. Does eight points magic slashing. All right. And then second attack, gonna be a 27 to hit. Nice. Now you're getting Do 11 points of magic slashing. All right, you're going to kill this spider. Now, yes. Now, here's what I need you to do. Roll me a, uh, uh, roll me a D, uh, a, a, a dice, you know, even as north and, and uh, uh, odd as south. Odd as south. All right. After that, you, uh, this, this whole one, two, three, 15, you both float this way. <laughs> Whoa. So I'm still in the bubble? Yep. Yep. With the babies. Oh, weird. The babies are all, you're like stabbing out and the babies are all in there. Oh, gross. Um, To get out of here would require an action, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. Can you action surge? I could action surge, but I'm wondering if I really need to. Well, if it, they it, paralyze you, yeah. you are dead. Yeah, I should probably get You have 30 hit points left. We'll, we'll, we'll burn Action Surge and try to get out. What does it take to get out of this bubble? Uh, let me double check. I believe you just got to give me... You give me an escape check, which is athletics. Or acrobatics. An escape check is what you need to get. All right. Second try at acrobatics. Oh, and wow. that's another one on the die. <laughs> um... Oh no! Uh, at the very least, I still have a bonus action to bonus action second wind and gain one d ten plus. That's my fighter level ten, so I gain fourteen hit points back. Nice, you, you're recharged a little bit. These things are all crawling all around you, Just stabbing at you, trying to paralyze you, biting at you. I take a deep breath before the rest of me gets covered in spiders. Oh boy! They get in your mouth. All right. Ah. Well, if they do, just yeah, chew down. I have a necklace Protein. of adaptation. I, I think I might be able to breathe spiders. Uh, I haven't tried. <laughs> They're Z- water-based creatures, right? <laughs> Z- Zendra is just disengaging from this spider here. He just, she just backs up. No, I don't blame you. She's like, ah! She doesn't know what's going on, and she's like, I'm out. She's up here. Bear. All right, that is Ekinkar. Ekinkar, what are you going to do? Can I run up and try to rip this balloon open or you can you can actually run up and you can give you can give uh yeah. advantage to hemo to rip it that's, open. that's what i'll do just help dig me out yeah and you start putting your hand put you push, pushing through yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. you're that's basically what kind of holding the balloon or whatever um, yeah I'm holding it so it can't leave and then like yeah that's what i'll do all right theo theo back up yeah. on top all right i'm gonna step around here so i'm flanking and give you one more square there to work <laughs> with Okay. And uh, I'm going to try to pop this spider here. All right, the go for Thunder it. The Thunder have been 50-50 lately, so we'll see what happens here. 25 will hit. That will hit, yeah. Seven points of damage, and a 17, I think, hits too, especially with linking. Yes, they do. Both hit. So a total of 15 points. Damage. Nice. There you go. This thing will pop like, Ooh, electricity. like just gone, just boom. A little ball of electricity winds up. Everybody needs to give me a DC 15 saving throw or take... Oh, 10 or 5 electrical damage. Oof. That's within uh, 5 feet or 10? 5 feet. So you're okay. you're fine right now. I'm, I'm fine, fine yep. Yeah. Oof. I think, uh, I think I might use my Flash of Genius on that one, too. All right. Just to evade that. Okay. Uh, so you I'll get, get to you know, 17. Uh, absorb it. will make it, and then I'll take 5 points of damage. Kind of absorb it up. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. That, that Theo, that's one attack, I believe, you made, right? No, that was two. Okay, two. Okay. Oh, you did roll too. All right, uh, Jaru, uh, you're standing right next to the other one. You Move see to here for Zindro. flanking. Okay, yep, you run down there. First one is a 19. <clears throat> 11 points of damage. All right, it's still up. Yeah, keep going. Second one is Booming Blade. Oh, miss. Oh, crud. All right. You were hitting on all the Booming Blades before now. I know. Flander, Dang. where are you at? I didn't even know you're lost in the haze of all this stuff. I'm right here. Spider go. electricity yeah. auras. Mm-hmm. All right, Flander, go ahead. What do you want to do with this guy? <clears throat> I just got eight eyes, and you didn't see this coming. Spiders, you're so useless. And I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. All right, and do I have a save on that? Who's uh, yeah, you do. Oh, I failed. <laughs> okay. 
then you take um, you take five points of psychic damage. Five points. And it erupts. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Your words <laughs> cut into him. <laughs> That's the second time I've insulted something to death. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give, give, me, your, give me your 15 oh, uh, savings throw. Your constitution uh, savings throw? That's that what it is? It's a con save, yeah. 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 And and you're going to take seven or three. All right. Looks like we're down to the down to the kids. Right, we're in the kids section. <laughs> Where? What are you going to do? They can still paralyze me. to Earth slide. Whoa. You see, he's just kind of running around. The bubble's moving around. Ekinkar is trying to keep the bubble from floating around. All these little spiders. Think of dozens of spiders just crawling around, just biting at him. He's got these marks all over his face, his little little spots where these little fangs are hitting him. I can get right there. Is he within 10 foot reach of me from that position? Yes, he is. I'll take some slams at the thing. Hey, hey, miss. Careful. 24. <laughs> 24, all right. Seven points after having. All right. All right, you just slam at the, you're basically trying to hit at the, at the, uh, all, all, all the, the, the entire swarm. Yep. You're just kind of slapping at it. All right, anything else you're going to do? That's all. All right. All right, their turn. All right, uh, Ekankar or Hemo, give me a, a, a constitution savings throw. Got a lot of things going on. I hope I get the right number here. Make it. Hemo can take oh, 25 con save. All right, it's, you're you're basically in the balloon. You're going to take half damage, and you're not going to be paralyzed. So you're going to take oh minimal damage. You take five points of piercing damage. Oh, I rolled that. Yeah, five points of piercing damage. That's right. And then you're going to take seven points of lightning damage 12. and two points of necrotic. Fourteen. So seven. Nice. Okay. All right. Hey, Ahimo, what are you going to do? Okay. Seven points of damage brings me down to 37. You remember, Ekka's aiding you right now to get out of this thing. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. I, with advantage, try to make an acrobatics to get out of here. Please let me out of here. More ones. 27. Oh, yes. Yes, you break free. I'll put you I in the spot. You break free. It kind of the pop, thing just kind of pops, and you see all those little spider baby spiders land around you. Stomp them! All right, that was your action. Anything else you're gonna do? Um, if uh, movement is a uh, is a uh, just a move action, right? Can you just move thirty feet in that one square? Stop! 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 Nice. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really have a bonus action to do i could try to flee and incur a bonus action honestly uh, i'll i'll do that i'll i'll turn and book it all right it's gonna make its normal attack on you um Go for it i'll put I'll nine plus five is is uh 14, 14 so i missed anyway all ah. right all right that's fine he, uh, hemo flees into the night god thank you Eric. <laughs> Zendra Anytime. just leaves you. <laughs> just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hemo's obviously like dripping with slime or whatever was in that bubble. Zendra runs around a straight. corner. They're running around a corner seeing Hemo just running up. He's got these like marks all over his body from being attacked. I'm they're like slapping off the last of the spider babies. Yeah, they're, they're, one just kind of flies off. She's I got her bow and she's looking at the little baby. She's like, what's, do, do I shoot one of these? What's, what's, she's very confused. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, so that's what she does. She makes her movement down to there. Ekinkar, what are you going to do? Get that. He's got let's, all these little babies flying around. There's not very many start, of them. Uh, just a yeah, let's start smashing. Hulk smash. 26 Ooh. to hit. Uh, all right. The babies, the babies, you kill the rest of them. They do not erupt or anything. Good job. Cool. Hooray. <laughs> Ekinkar, baby slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, 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 don't repeat that give one. Give the villagers yeah, any ideas. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and the YouTube AI suddenly is like, like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I love the YouTube AI. I don't understand the YouTube AI at all, how, the, how they determine what's, what's uh, good and what's not. It's we really haven't good. understood the algorithm for years. Apparently not. Apparently not. All right. All right. That brings us to uh, whatever you guys want to do next. 
Um, Ek is going to run up to Hemo and lay on hands for uh, 25 points of healing. Nice. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. He was following Jeru. <laughs> All right. Well, what do you guys uh, want to do next? You guys, uh, you guys are kind of out of initiative now. We should check out this room at the, least. The yeah. loot yeah. goblins are going at it. <laughs> and then head northeast. All right. Looking through that room, that room is really just the warren for these spiders. Uh, you see basically bodies and and creatures that they probably sucked dry. You see thousands upon thousands of bite marks. Where they probably captured them and brought them back Oof. to their babies. Uh, you see nothing that you would consider uh, a like a citizen of Tribor. Or anything like that. And you're quite a distance away. You're several hours away from Tribor right now. So um if if there if there's anything close to a humanoid, it'd probably be like a goblin, maybe. What does Lear see with his earth elemental vision? Yeah, with my natural twenty investigation. Ooh. Natural twenty investigation. You look around, you find lots of remnants of dead bodies, but nothing else. <laughs> Good rocks. No loot. It's okay. All right. Shall we head northeast, everyone? Are we ready to go? Yes, yes we, we need to continue. I would All very right. much like to be back in the woods, as dangerous as it's been. I think I saw daylight up here. <laughs> All right. You're going to travel through the, through the crack? Yep. The crack I, get, uh, I get my climbing gear ready, just in case this is going to be an ordeal. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, let's let's uh, see what this what this has to offer us here as you as you wander through the crack. Perhaps yeah. we should rest. Mm -hmm. mm, I, could I don't rest. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit hurt. <clears throat> like a long rest or like a short uh, rest? At or? least a short rest. Because I am just I am, I am very he's 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 pretty beat up. There's a, the election is tomorrow, so taking a long rest will will really put you up against the time crunch yes. but do what we you are, want to do you know I'm we not, do need to find some evidence if i had an hour though i could be much more more useful once we make it to the tower i as well around right, so when got, in the day is it you're in the middle of the night you can you want to you want to wander out of the t the uh tower and check i believe let's do a it rough have been too long in the in the no. here. yeah let's let's do a uh <clears throat> rough idea here i'm gonna give you a it's about i will say it's been like six hours since you've left total so it's okay. going to be roughly about three to four in the afternoon yeah i think we could spare the hour i think <clears throat> we can yeah. all see in the dark it doesn't matter if we travel at night no, it's just, yeah, yeah, I think we can spare the hour. We just might need to move a little bit faster afterwards. All right, I will stay away from the exit. Uh, that's Lander. We'll come back from the exit here. And yeah, in I'll here. stand guard the exit. I don't really get anything from a short rest, so I'll just stand guard. <clears throat> you as much as I hate it down here, I think any potential threats would not want to come down into a spider hole. All right, you guys go out and give yourself a short rest. You wait for the hour. You, as you listen out of the, the Ekankar, as you listen out of the chamber from up above, you uh, don't hear anything of any uh, detail other than the fact that it's definitely outside. You can hear the, you can see here, hear distant rustling of breeze uh, as the breeze rustles, rustles the leaves. There's leaves overhead, but okay. you can just barely hear them in the, in the far distance. So you know that there's some trees somewhere out there but mm -hmm. it's faint. Okay. It's at least quiet enough that we can hear rustling leaves and not, you know, swarms of spiders or hobgoblins. Correct. All right. So you guys are going to go ahead and get your uh, hit, hit dice back, and then uh, we'll continue. <clears throat> All right. I will, I will give you a description of what you're seeing, and then I'll bring up the map uh, as, you, uh, as you exit it's the map. Much. You can tell me kind of the order that you're going to appear, and I'll let you put yourself on the map. I in can that go order. first to get it unless Lear wants to. Lear could. I know, right? Just peek his head up. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of glide up underground and just boop, 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 nice first. Like, oh, what's that one Pokemon? You're a Diglett. 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 Yeah. Nice. Okay, here we go. Uh, the dark tunnel winds its way through the darkness, barely enough room to fit your bodies through. After pressing through the passage for about uh, about five hundred feet, travel about five hundred feet. Uh, the passage widens. Uh, there, the shades of daylight ahead. 
at the edge of the opening, you see, you, you see, you are at the far end of a long trench. So you're at the bottom end. You see like a U shape, and you're at the bottom. It's forty foot high up uh, either side. Ooh. It's about be fifteen, maybe twenty feet across these cliffs. And you're kind of at the bottom edge, looking up. So like that. Yeah. Damn. The walls are waving, are waving smooth hard rock that rise up forty feet on either side. A stone bridge crosses a trench. Uh, where where it bends. So ahead of you, you can see a, a bend. There's a stone bridge that crosses over you. Uh, you can see a large humanoid figure formed of globs of metal standing at the edge of the bridge above you to your left. The ear, It's eerily what? motionless, but you're pretty sure it's animate. I'll bring the map up now. Uh-oh. Okay, so go ahead and put yourself uh, on, the, on the map here. Uh, and you can see the, the remnants of this this. Uh, thing sitting right here at the very edge you're at the bottom of this trench uh what do you guys want to do uh i'm gonna um, quietly oh what are you doing there i could <clears throat> slide up the side of the ravine and get up top take more of a you nods at you <laughs> all, all right, right. I'll do that. I'll step into the wall and start sliding up. It'll take me around. All right, you rise. You rise up to the top and look around. I'll sh- I'll present to you what hey, you dig see up there. Yeah. All right, here we go. Lear, use dig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's super effective. All right. This is what you see in the map. I'll back up a little bit. Not quite done yet. Got a little bit more to reveal here. There's an uprise that's up there, and to the south, what you can see is quite a bit more. See a whole opening Hmm. that opens up to a forested area, kind of like a forested area. I'll back the map up so everyone can see. Back that map up. You can see there's a forest out here, and they are there. And you see that creature kind of sitting motionless right here. It just seems to be sitting here. Mm -hmm. Well, Looks was... more like a golem than an animated suit of armor. I would like to look a lot closer, but it... one thing you're going to notice, mm. Lear, is that this thing is actually hovering <clears throat> ten feet off the ground. It's mm. hovering. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's a little intimidating. Does there? It's does there seem to be like any energy pulsing to make it hover, or it's just kind of like nope, it's just it's there. Better. It's literally emotionless. From below, you couldn't tell because it just there. There, as you get up, you realize the reason why you could see it from that high up is it literally is hovering ten feet off the ground. Interesting. Okay. Hate that. That would be imposing. We should definitely get out of the ravine. <clears throat> yeah, I think the ravine is a death trap. <laughs> um, can I uh, just shuttle people up and down the cliff on this far side over here? I can also. Emo he did have people. his. Was gonna come up here with his climbing gear ready. All right, you're gonna could, bring you're gonna bring someone up the trench. I could float the grappling hook, and you have a ten foot reach, right? So, could we maybe meet in the middle, and I could pass you the grappling hook? Theo, can you still fly? <laughs> yep, I have my my winged boots. I can just float up there. I can probably grab somebody too if they want to. Hemo like shoves the uh, the grappling hook end of the grappling hook into into Theo's chest. Like, here, take this. All right, I'll just I'll just float it up. <laughs> No, you know, he's trying to pass it to Hemo, uh, to Theo without a word. All right, what order are you going to bring people up? Because that makes a difference. Uh, who gave me that first? Hemo? Hemo did. I'll Hemo passes you the... Uh... All right, Hemo, put yourself up here. Oh, all right. In that case, Hemo will, like, get ready to, to drop the... Drop the hammer. Drop the grappling hook. All right, that's the first one. Uh, who's the second one coming up? So the rope will go up. How far can you fly? Yeah, the rope is available, correct? He, well, I just know uh, that he said he was flying. Kimo needs an action to set it up, so if he's free to make that action, then that's what he would do once he gets put up on the... Yeah, on the but the second, the second person who's coming up, are you going to use the rope, or what are you going to do? Who's the second person? Can I glide up like I have a... An arm hung out holding somebody? Like, <laughs> you're, you're, either, you're basically either you're in or you're out. Okay. 
So you, either you're going to be gliding in or you're going to be gliding. I mean, you can you can color it how you want, but either but it, but if if you're upholding somebody outside, you're out. Sure. I'll uh, I'll grab Ekin car next, and then if anybody else wants to do a, a climb, they they could probably do it around the same time as me pulling the next person up. All right. So put Ekin car up top, and one other, and then you're going to you want to glide somebody up. You can put somebody else up. And who's who's I'll that going to be? I'll uh, put your Rue up. All right. First. And at, and at that point, something's going to happen. So Flander is left down below. And Zindra. And Zindra. Where is Zindra? Uh, she's not on the map. I'll bring her oh. over. Let me bring her over. Hold on a second. I have to remember to con constantly move, bring her over because it is uh, something I have to do manually. Did she get stuck in the 500 foot tunnel? Yeah. <laughs> she fell down. Yeah. She's just sort of wedged in there. <laughs> guys. Hi. Hey, guys. Come on. I can car at least. Come on. <laughs> Where is that? You guys suck. <laughs> Did she appear here? She's so mad. Yeah. My new goal for this campaign is just to have her like me. My <laughs> only I think, goal. I think she's getting there. I think, I right. think she does. Amy. What? Why did she? I not... heard some some sounds of respect in her voice recently. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then she probably <laughs> called me an asshole or something. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's like that's her love language, though. <laughs> so, like, you, I think you're on the right track. Hopefully, right, she how she shows affection. Yeah, because <laughs> she says it while smiling. All right. As as you as you rise up this uh, this uh, trench, you kind of get some of you moving up there. Suddenly, from atop the tower, a, a, a being appears. This being is um, <clears throat> you're not appearing. Yeah, he is. He's very see difficult face. to see. Yeah. He's basically. I'll, I'll move him kind of in this square just to see a little bit. You see, he's a gnome, a halfling. It's oh, actually a halfling. Uh, yeah, a halfling standing standing up there. He There's looks the down. He looks down over at the group. He has with him a staff in his hand. He looks down at you and has a pleasant smirk as he he wields a staff and, the, and he kind of leans on it and he says he says, "Ayo, looks like we have visitors. Tell me, friends, what brings you about? Uh, you're too far away to notice anything in more detail. But he's calling into the dark, into the day." We can we can hear him. Can we see yeah. him from here? He's yelling. Yeah, he, he's yelling out at you. Yes. And uh, we seek information. Well, you're you're quite off the beaten path for uh, for a, a stray wanderer, and Hemo. quite and and quite uh, uh, interestingly put together for hunters, seeing as how you're wandering with an elemental. <laughs> Himo says, we're here for politics, unfortunately. And as he's preparing an arrow in his bow. Oh. <laughs> All right, roll initiative. <laughs> here we go. Right. Let me clear the tracker first. Yep. <clears throat> we cannot kill this person. We need information. Mm -hmm. everyone, in the, everyone in the tracker order, let me bring it up here. And of course, he's first. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just need uh, Zindra in there. Then we're good. Oh, Zindra's not in there again. Looks at Ekin, Kar, and Hemo. Which one of you would like to fly? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I do miss it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's going first. Wow. Uh, and she's that, just like, fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck, fuck this and fuck <clears throat> you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, Zindra goes first. Uh, she she uh, she uh, looks up at you and she's like, "What is going on?" She's going to try to make a climb check to climb out of there. Oh, he's one of uh, fake DS's people. All right, he knows what we need. Zindra starts climbing up. She's like, "What is going on?" All right. The 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 ha the halfling the halfling so looks down and says. Politics are difficult tricks, my friend, and you've made you've made a wrong wandering, and for that you shall pay dearly. Gentlemen, please take care of these creatures. And you see this thing, this this little uh, this little uh, that giant large creature that's sitting there. <laughs> he kept saying little. Head goes, hair goes, 
<laughs> what was completely stiff suddenly becomes it just starts moving all over the place the the little the little balls of metal almost like rolling on top of each other a t1000 just flipping all over the place what was impressive what was... artificer do you make horses <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then it's going. That that's it. It makes a command, and then it's going to do an action. Okay, so with that, uh, the creature is going. The this halfling it raises its hands. It twiddles its it twiddles its fingers, and it is quite a different distance away. Let's see if he can make it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Yeah, he's going to easily be able to do it. He's going to put a marker. We'll put the marker right about here. And it is a sphere, and that sphere is going to be a sphere of... All right, so his range is 120 feet. It's a 20-foot radius around that point. So I think it's going to get most people on the top. And what it does, I need, at that point, uh, we need each creature to in the sphere to make a constitution savings throw. So I believe that's everybody up on top. Is your aura active all the time, or do you have to activate All the aura? time. It's, all, it's always <laughs> active as long as I'm conscious. Gotcha. So it should be everybody up on top. Oh, we're crushing it. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Mike, it looks like you made it. Never mind that advantage. Uh, <laughs> would 16. a 19 make it? Okay, you get 19. All right. Uh, go, uh, and then click Zach got 11. Is that I got 16. Because There's of my There's four arm. people up there. Who am I missing? Oh, Cameron. Cameron, what'd you get for your role? I made 22, 27. All right. X. All right. What happens is on a on a successful save, let's see what happens. Let's talk about it. on a successful save. You take half the damage. So you say me, this is a gravity thing. Gravity yeah, I'll sphere? tell you in a second. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's a thing called gravity sinkhole. <gasps> Ooh, don't cool. like that. Once you guys are gonna run into each other. So I just do it like this, and we're gonna take. Uh, all right, so you're going to take 15 points of damage if you made your save, and this is force damage. So 15 points of damage if you made your save. Who, who, who failed? I got a 16. Does that fail? No, you need 18 is what you need. Okay, so then I failed. On a failed save, the creature takes the full damage, which is uh, double whatever I just 30. said. 30, yeah. Okay. 31, 30, 31. You take 31 points of damage, and you're pulled in a straight line toward the center of the sphere, uh, ending in an unoccupied space as close to the center as possible. So you're literally tugged to that spot. I think you said it was uh, either here or here. Yep. So yep. I just did tugged back no, here. I, 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 uh, it's, it, you're tugged. You're, he's going over the cliff. Is what's the thing? It's going to be. He should be at the oh. spot where he gets pulled over over the cliff. So right Wait, here. Right, you're right, right here. This is the okay. this is the cliff. So he basically is just he's being sucked. Or, uh, right over the cliff. That's they they view it outside. They're basically drawing you over the cliff. So, okay. Ekinkar, you get pulled off. I'm going to give you a dexterity saving throw to uh, or, de or acrobatics check to a 15 to catch the edge. Not athletics. Can't do athletics. Uh, you can do uh, athletics or acrobatics. Either one. Yeah. Okay, I'll do. Oh, no, no, this is catch the edge. It has to be acrobatics. Acrobatics. Oh, okay. all right. You're basically 16 made it oh. See, he's bought the edge. He's hanging over the edge. Oh. Boom. As he's, as he's nice thing, with boom. the minus one, you still got and yeah. he, he to fail, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Boom. So he has launched off the edge. He's launched off the edge. Boom. Theo looks back up. What? <clears throat> I would really like to fly now. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> that brings us, uh. that brings us, uh, to. The next person on the list, which is, I think it's Flander, right? Flander, Flander, what do you want to do? Flander will yell out, "Hey, metal man, have a drink." On second thought, don't. You're rusty enough, and do vicious mockery. Aren't you at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, you're sixty. You're, you're you're seventy, eighty, ninety. Uh, plus, he's forty feet up, so you're way too far away. I think okay. it's sixty feet, right? Now you're you're down here at the bottom. And he's up 40 feet up on top of the tower right here. Yeah, it's 60 feet. So. Viscous. So I guess I don't do that. Man, I wasted a perfectly good insult. 
Fi- write it down. Fi- file it away. <laughs> what do you want to do, Flander? As you see this, this, this okay. halfling leaning, leaning over with a staff. Um, it's very difficult to make his features out because you're so far away from him now. Mm-hmm. But you do know it's a halfling, and you see this creature okay. sitting right here. Zinder started okay. climbing. She's in front of you, so she's got her movement yep. of climbing, right? Yeah, she's climbing. Basically, she's taking her full move to climb up. So she is, uh, she is thirty feet up the mm-hmm. the top. Toward the side. she's ten feet up from the top, thirty feet from the bottom. And I'm next to you. I could probably bring you up this turn. So it's forty feet up. It's forty feet to the top. Yep. Yeah. I think I just have a. Well, flight. I'll I'll start a climb anyway. All right, just give me a climb check. You need to meet an, an athletics check of ten. Hey. Oh, that's the wrong one. So if I have a flying speed, I can just fly up at that speed, correct? Yeah, but if you're pulling somebody else, it's at half speed. All right. Like if you're moving, force moving somebody. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, hey, yeah, climb force speed, thirty feet. 30. Yeah. Athletics of ten. All right, give me an athletics check. What'd you get? Coming right up. Athletics. Right, right. You are ten feet from the top. That's your full move. You're basically you're basically dashing up the side. Yep. yep. All right, perfect. As you dash up to the side, it next up is uh all right. The this this thing gets the Iron Man. <laughs> all right. I gotta see how fast the thing can move. I'm thinking Lear is our giant mech, and that's his giant mech. We're gonna we're gonna do some uh, robo mech fights. Fight. <laughs> it's it hovers to here. It's flying above the ground now. Oh, it really is oh, gonna God. be a Pokemon battle. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, on top of that, you see another one. Oh crap! Mm-hmm. Flying above the ground. It is, it is moving across here, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 to here. It's actually sitting way above the ground. It is now, it is from, and the, by the ground, I mean the base ground where the uh, where the bridge is. Mm-hmm. It is 40 feet up in the air right now. So. So 80 feet above me then. Yeah. All right. All right, so it, they they fully move. They see him this. All right, uh, that is their move. Next up is Ekinkar. Ekinkar, what do you want to do? I'm going to try to move okay. the map in because we're getting crazy now. Yeah. All delay right, till so. After, delay till after Theo, maybe? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that does seem like the best option. Um yeah, I'll delay for right now. All right, you're gonna do great delay till after Theo. So I'm gonna yeah. put you at uh, I'll put you at uh, thirteen. Sounds good. All right, Theo, what are you gonna do? All right. <clears throat> well, he is above me, hanging off the edge of the cliff. Yeah. Yeah, he just—he basically is just grabbing on. He's just—he he just kind of grabbed them. He, he was launched off with his gravity pull. Boom! But he caught himself and on the way down, basically yep. near the top. Yep. Well, I'm gonna fly straight up, and that would put me, I think, 30 feet up from the bottom. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You flap the 30 feet. That's your movement. Yeah. Now the question is, can I touch him at this point with his feet? Can I touch his feet? Nope. No. Nope. Have to go five more feet. Yeah, you have to. You have to get five more feet. Yeah. <clears throat> gotcha. Well, I made it 40 feet for a reason, just to irritate everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <clears throat> yeah, don't tell anybody. Yeah. This is his secret with all of you out there. Uh, fun. Well, that doesn't do much good for him, but I was going to cast a spell on Ek. Just can't do it this round yet. Trying to get a spell uh, fly on him? Uh, maybe, maybe. What are you going to do? I guess as I'm... Who's to say? Flying up here, I'm gonna try uh, a cantrip on this uh, this uh, blue guy right here. That that big the metal creature. <clears throat> oh, the metal creature is really hurt. If you know 
Uh, is this one of your attack right here? Actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to attack that guy right, right off the bat. I'm going to attack. Kind of talk to him. I'm going to attack this guy up here. He's. He, I can see him, right? Yeah, he's sitting on the edge. He's sitting on the edge with the, with the staff, the right? Staff, and he attacked our people. So I'm going to hit him with a fire bolt. It's got a 120 foot range. Yep. So Go for just it. Fires it up back up at that guy. Does a 23 hit him? A 23? Yes, hits him. Excellent. 17 points of fire damage. <laughs> ah. Nice hit. So you want to play like that, huh? Then so be it. You started it. I take my... <laughs> I, the gloves have come off, but I like my gloves. We just wanted to talk. Oh, yeah. I know I know what you're here for. What is I know, it? I know who you are, Eck and Carr. Uh -oh. Give me an insight roll. I shall. <clears throat> as soon as I find it. I Should you just say a bit to Theo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, I'm wait, what? He's sort of, the, sort of our leader, though, right? So, yeah, I don't look like that guy. He's got intel, but he didn't go over it very good. <laughs> he, he hasn't yeah, seen you a picture of me. You're too far away to know to notice details about him, but uh, but he, he appears he apparently knows who Ekinkar is, and he thinks whether you're it or somebody is it. That's what he says. Oh, so so space to a name. Someone is here armored. is named Ekinkar. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah he's heavily armored. <laughs> All right, uh, that okay. is that was your spell. Anything else you're gonna do? Um, I think that I'm all out of defensive fields, unfortunately. That's all you're gonna do. I'll retract my helm. <laughs> you, you or deploy the helm. Deploy your helmet. <laughs> sure, I'd cover my face in shame if I were you as well. It is ugly. <laughs> and down, from from below, you can hear Zindra says, "Not as bad as it used to be." You gotta own that shit, right? Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That brings us. That brings us to. That is. Uh, uh, She's basically the same height as I am. Actually, we're all like thirty feet up the, the cliff right now. Yeah, yeah, you're hovering Slander's over. right behind Zindra. It is now Ekinkar's turn. Yeah. Okay. So, how far below am I right now? Am you're I like basically right on the edge? at the lip edge. You're at the okay. edge of the. Um, so I'll you're pull fine. myself up. D uh, do you need that's considered that. That's like that's movement. like standing up from prone. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that takes half my movement, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now, if you're climbing get... up, it's fine. But basically, you you caught yourself, and now you have to pull yeah. yourself up. So it's like yeah. It's like okay, so do that. I'll do. I'll get away from the edge. Or... Try to create some room. Go here, and I'll uh, just go to. Uh, it was a twenty. Foot essentially, pole. the dodge action. All right, you're gonna dodge. Nice. You can go further. I know, but I want to keep. Everybody, as, as much people as I can in the aura. Yeah, I gotcha. Perfect. That's Ek and Car. That brings us up to Hemo. Hemo. <clears throat> Hemo, a moment, please. Hmm. I'm going to try something silly here. Wait, um, did you hear what Jeru said? What? He's doing something silly. <laughs> he was being soft. A moment, Hemo. Hemo's got a bow in his hand, uh, and he's, well... All right, make it quick. These things are, these things are coming fast. You're gonna go after um, Jeru. I'll, I'll delay after Jeru. All right. Take a five foot step and cast fly on, on <clears throat> Hemo. On Hemo. Right. Awesome. Hemo, you are oh, not boy. flying. Give yourself a Whoa. flight marker. Something cool. All right, Jeru. Jeru, make sure you. We know you're concentrating. You have a flying speed of 60 feet that. for this for the duration of this spell. 60. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you book it. All right. I'll put purple for concentration. Anything yeah, else you're yeah. gonna do, Chemo? Is it your turn now, or are you are you gonna do something else, Julie? Daru makes it difficult <clears throat> for me to DM by moving too far <laughs> away from me. <clears throat> I also draw my sword and initiate blade song. All right, you are down there doing Blade Song. I'll try to keep everybody in play. This is a big map and a lot of movement going on. This so it, hopefully this gives me cover from the tower. Let's see where are you at here. Uh, yeah, you can get you can get uh, light cover from there. That would be considered light cover when when through that. What are you gonna do? Uh, okay, Hemo, it's your turn. Hemo's going to go. How high up is this tower? Can we? Is it's it forty obvious feet how? up? It's forty feet up. The, Interesting. The tower is 40 feet up from the ground level. All right. Well, I think first I'll just go 10 feet up, and I got a move speed of 60, right? Yep. yep. And then Fly there's, speed. 
There are there are movement marker there are height markers in the in the drop down when you for uh, for your template so you can put the height you end up on when you're done. Oh, interesting. So you go ten feet up in the air and then where you're going to go oh, yeah. to. Look at that. Thanks. Um, ten feet in the air and I'll move fifty feet um, to here. So let me just mark my altitude. Nice. Can't imagine being. 300 feet in the air. <laughs> I couldn't tell that. that yeah, was, I, uh, I'm gonna stay low-ish for a little bit, but then um, I've still got the bow in my hand. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to shoot at him with the longbow. This one here. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna shoot this red guy. This red guy here. Got it. Boom! Fire at him. Go for it. Here's three I kind of fire at him as I fly by. Oh, 12 to hit. All right. Uh, 12 is gonna miss him. Just minus an arrow. Take my second attack, please. Okay, there we go. 27 to hit. That will hit. And I'm going to try a trip attack. It, it looks like it's a large creature, right? Uh, it is a large creature, yes. All right. Um, I'm going to add the superiority die to the damage roll of this thing I'm hitting. Uh, so 5 plus 10 for 15 points of piercing. From my longbow to the red guy here. All right, is that magical damage? Uh, nope. Okay, so he'll take half of that. All right, and uh, he has to make a strength saving throw. Your, uh, my DC for my maneuvers is a 17. Okay. Eight plus proficiency is 12, plus strength or dex mod, plus five is 17, yeah. Okay. Got it. I am only half sure this is going to work because they hover, but I'm trying to think if I if they I, I'm thinking I'm trying to think if they can actually be if they're immune to prone here. Uh, oh. Yes, they're immune to, to poison, yeah. prone, unconscious. They're immune to it. All right, damn. damn. All right, so Boom. the float. But you did the damage. You did the damage. Yep. Now I know they can't be tripped. I was. On the off chance I could knock one out of the sky, that'd be cool, but I'll still yeah. take the shots. That's cool. Boom. All There's right. spells for that. All right, that 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 is that is uh Hemo, that brings us to Lear. Lear, what are you gonna do? Uh, Lear's just gonna double move all the way over here. Got it. That's what <clears throat> Lear does. All right, how far how uh, high up the ground are you? Ten feet right now, Hemo? Yes, I didn't fly too high. Perfect. All right. Zindra's turn. Zindra climbs up to the top of the, finishes up her, her climb. That would be half of a 10. This is 20 feet of her movement. 25. Oh, she's gonna 20 move, there. Yeah, she's going to move to here. And she's going to try to fire at that. that uh, ooh, she's going to hit one time. using Ekengar as a shield. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's basically standing next to, next to well, Ekengar has that hey. shield where she gets There you go, Ekengar. That's a pretty good sign. True. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah, and then she's got a or she's using it. me. Yeah, and she takes. She's oh, gonna. Oh, me. she's gonna hit this oh, thing for me. max half damage. <laughs> max. max regular damage. All right. Does anybody have a magic weapon we can give her? All right. That brings us to. Not a bow. That brings us to. All right. Oh, it's that. It's the halfling's turn. He says, "Oh, I see. It, this is gonna be one of those type of adventures." Well, certainly you are not welcome here. Let's see what I have in my bag of tricks for you. You better have a pair of handcuffs, and I better see two wrists in them when I get up there. <laughs> Give me a wisdom save, uh, Hemo. Give me a wisdom save, and the wisdom save is 18. Wisdom? Yes. Okay. Come on, Oop, 14, pay. decent on the die. All right. You are now under dominate person. <clears throat> well. Oh, no. Uh, could I just... Hang on. When do I get to trigger indomitable? If you fail, I'd like to re-roll with indomitable. Please do. Re-roll your wisdom save. Don't dominate me. 15? No. <laughs> Damn. You are now dominated. I guess I'm dominable. 
While the target is charmed, Oops. you have a telepathic link with it as long as the two of you are on the same plane of existence. You can use a telepathic link to issue commands to the creature while you are, uh, while you are conscious. Uh, uh, you can speci specify a simple or ge general course action, such as attack the creature, run over people, whatever. Uh, you can use your action to take, uh, to take total and precise control of the target, but he's just going to tell you to kill somebody, kill your friends. Until the end of your turn, the creature takes only the actions you choose and doesn't do anything that you don't allow it to do. Uh, each time your, your, your target takes damage, it gets a new wisdom save. Did you roll that with advantage? Because we're fighting this guy currently. What do you mean? Uh, he would have advantage on the saving throw uh, if you are the creatures that are friendly to your fighting with dominate person. Okay, give me, well, you get an advantage roll then. That's good to know. All right. Um, I didn't read that far into it, so that's why we look at the spell. Should that apply before or after the Indomitable? Okay. If you are, if you or a creature that are friendly to you are fighting it, it, it has advantage on the saving throw. Yeah. So give me a give me a saving throw. You could roll your that second roll as your as your saving throw. I guess. Or, that's fine. Well, she, he, he would get, he can get another he can get another choice. Come on, make it. You got to make it. Okay, you're gonna have a, Come on, make uh, it. Uh, oh no! No, it's a play on the die. So Crap. They, you are under dominate person. You still have your wait, but with your indomitable, you just roll one more roll. Yeah, and you have to use the second one. So if we treat that fifteen as my indomitable, still I, I would have okay, still no, used it, yeah. and I would have still lost it. Yeah, it, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Um, e all right, uh, Hemo. Um, he this yeah, guy. This is what he tells you to do. He sa he says keep yeah. firing. Uh, he says keep keep it. Keep attacking any way, the, the best way you can to attack, and I want you to kill Ekinkar Doom. Uh, okay. That's what he tells you. <clears throat> All right, that's just, that's what he what he does, and then. Do I have attack. the ability to resist it? Like yeah, uh, you get a I think saving throw every time you get hurt, injured. If they do damage to you, they, then you uh, and you can't do damage to yourself. But if anybody okay. gets damaged to you, they, you get another save. Unfortunately, the save for this guy is extremely high. It's 18. This guy is a, this guy is a pretty good baddie. All right, that brings us to... That brings us to... <clears throat> Can I make an arcana check to recognize that that was done? I would, I would, uh, I would say. Um, I to spell those verbal and. I, mean, I would guess that he, that he, uh, he, you generally speaking, I don't try to hide it, so I guess you probably would know. Hemo resists it. really hard with his indomitable before being taken <laughs> over. I would say, you know, in in general, it's like unless, Vegeta unless going specifically Martian trying to Vegeta. Sly, it's great. Yeah. yeah, I, I don't do the whole identify uh, uh, spell kind of thing because that gets really old. And all right, so floating there, if his if head. I if I see that he's been dominated, yeah, I immediately cease concentration and he don't fall. Oh. <laughs> Genius. All right, there you drop 10 feet. <coughs> boom. He's like, ah, boom. Take damage. Okay, your spell's gone. You're, you take, uh, I'll give you three points of damage, and you'll get another saving throw. But I think you get the saving throw at the end of your turn. All right, I got to double check. Is it any time they take damage? Time they target takes damage, takes new wisdom saving throw against the spell. Yeah, give me another saving throw. Oh, boy. Maybe maybe this maybe he saved your maybe he just saved your bacon by injuring you or our bacon <laughs> or Ekincar's bacon. Dang! All right, uh, wisdom save. Come on, make it. Uh, That's an eight. Oh my god! Uh, so he used the eighteen. Is that what I heard earlier? The eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Plus zero. If you're gonna go kill Ek, you'll be in his field of, of, uh, <laughs> of bonuses. So. Yeah. I wonder if I still count as an ally. Nope. In, in <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the spell. Yeah. All right, so you are under dominate person. Hemo, you land, you are prone right now, by the way. You land 10 feet and you're prone. So you have to get Ow. up and run still. Actually, that's a good point. If Ekankara could would know that you were dominated or not. I would I would say that in general, we, <laughs> we do, I mean, some DMs will just try to hide spells and you have to guess at them sure. and stuff like that. If I was gonna do something shady, I wouldn't be yelling it from the top of the tower. <laughs> oh, God. Like, he actually does it through a mental link. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he cast a spell on him, and you see him kind of like, you know. I just use it more. It's 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 more in, in, in interesting. <laughs> Freezes, turns around, glowers at Ekinkar. Huh? Well, I Flander. It's your turn. What are you gonna do? Climb. Yeah, climb. I'm going to climb. Yay! All right, you climb up the lat. You move, you move twenty feet to get to there. <clears throat> do I need to make another check? Or? Nope. 
Move over. Okay. Okay. Theo is flying, right? Yeah. I'm. I'm fine. I cast enlarge on him. All right. You're gonna cast enlarge on Theo. Is it? It's. uh, Um. (laughs) Go get him. (laughs) No. All right. All right. Is there right. anything to my speed at all? Is there anything that doesn't do anything to your speed? Nope. I think it adds 1d4 damaged, and I yep. think you give advantage on strength checks, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Perfect. All right. Anything else you're going to do, Flander? I'm going to move to. You've already moved 20 here. feet. Oh, all right. Okay. So we'll, well, I you can climb move. the rest of the way, so you can move. Right. Yeah. Forgot about that. So then I can move to ten more feet. I guess about about around about here anyway. All right, roundabout. Pick a specific square and a roundabout move there. All right, okay. we'll call that fine. All right, you move to there. That brings us to the creatures themselves. All right, what are they going to do? There's two of them, and they look fierce. So this one is going to move. He moves within 10 feet of Flander. As he's hovering across, he's going to look down at Flander and then he's going to. You got, you give, you need to succeed in a DC 15 strength saving throw. You have it. You have a, a plus five because you are within Rekin Car's range. Right. Okay. So, DC 15 strength saving throw. Okay. I think you I made it, it, right? Yep. Because you get a plus five. All right. Boom. That's yep. what it does. You see, you see your your the metal items on your body to start levitating up toward them. You have your gloves on, your armor. It's like every little piece, your little studded armor, your weapons, your 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 bow or your uh, everything just kind of hovers toward it. That's what it, that's what kind of happens. All right. The other one. What is the other one going to do? The other one moves. 5, 10, 15, 20. 10, 15. It moves to here. It's 40 feet up in the air still. It just moves across like this, like this big obelisk flying through the space. It moves to there. That brings us. And how? It's 40 feet up? It's 40 feet up, yeah. The little marker on the side tells you how far, how high up it is. You can just zoom in if you want. It helps out. That's really cool. Ah, there we go. Yeah. When, when we started doing flying, I had to add something because otherwise, I mean, people on, at home might necessarily not be able to see it because the sure. map is big enough, but you guys can zoom in and fu- see I, it. I thought that it was like 10 uh, weapon, or just like, t- yeah, like 10 ammunition or something. I'm like, no, oh. boy, this is going to be rough. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a counter for some sort of ability stack, too. All but right. That, altitude is great. Theo, yeah. it is your turn. What are you going to do? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to keep flying up. So I'll go take 10 foot movement to move up to the top. All right. So it'll be at, at even, basically, at zero. It'll be at zero. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'll just take that off for the yep. moment, but still flying. And then I'll come over here. So it's uh, 15, 20. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to cast Fly on Ekinkar over here. Oop. All right. You're not concentrating any other spell right now? Correct. Because your boots are items. They're just nice. Item. Ekinkar, you get, he walks up to you and he's going to cast Fly on you. All right. And then I'm going to spend the last uh, 10 feet of movement moving back this way and, and up. So I'll be at 10 feet in the air. All right. As you do that, you you hear from you hear from the from the dark from the darkness of your obviously peering through the the, uh, the actual uh, tower edge up on top. You hear that that halfling yell out to the group um, to the group. It's unfortunate that you had to make that you had to try to just to make a reach farther than it should have been. It, it'll be a shame to have to have to kill you all. I agree. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Theo, Theo, uh, uh, you have gone, right? Yes. All right. That brings us to Ekinkar. Ekinkar the flying. What are you going to do, Ekinkar? Okay. I can't find an exact rule on this, so it'll be up to you. Tell me. On, in my, one of my auras is Aura of Devotion. 
you and friendly creatures within 10 feet of you can't be charmed. So if I flew over to Hemo. No. And he's in my aura. No. He already was turned. No. Okay. Yeah. And do a dominate person is, I don't think it's considered a charm spell. Uh, is it not? I thought it was. He's charmed in the description, but yeah. enchantment. Yeah, State's it's creature it's is here. charmed. Yeah. I, 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 it doesn't say. The, see the old the old D and D was better. Be, oh, it is a fifth level enchantment, so I guess you can might. Throw it has the word charmed in the yeah, second okay. sentence. But yeah, no, you can't just yeah. dispel magic by running flying over next to him. Yeah. Like okay, that's fine. Seconds. It was a half brained idea, but I thought I might as well try it. Yeah. Um, the right. didn't charmed. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think it's so too powerful I... to be able to just like flip your aura and just run around and dispel everything and flip back. <laughs> and just... Yeah. All right, then I will go five feet up over this guy. And let's let's see if we can do Get some him. damage. That All was right. my plan. Right. Yeah. All right. Bam. Oh, 15. But, uh, probably not. <laughs> armor class 15 <clears throat> will miss him, but not by much. They're, they're, armor, they're oh. big and bulky, so. Okay. Uh, second attack. Nope. <laughs> Shoot. Do you have an aura of hit better? I, I really need to get in on that. <laughs> Find out whatever aura <laughs> that is and use it. <laughs> Plus five to attacks. Woo! Uh, yeah, go. all right. That'll do it. All right, cool. All right, that brings us to... That. You see this, these creatures hovering out. You're just running, running swinging. You kind of hit the thing. As you <clears> do so, Ekinkar, you feel... Everything on your body, because you're wearing this, you have the shield, you have this this uh, this awesome s s s s uh, weapon. Um, mm -hmm. I made a, I made a critical mistake with you, but I'm going to tell you about it right now because of this turn. Uh -oh. All right, after you went to attack, you you fly up to attack him. You start getting visions. Literally, you have a clouded vision. Something gets in your face. It it interrupts you. You start uh, seeing pictures of planes of men uh, men. Massive men running across the field, kicking out elks. You see, uh, you see uh, images of birds and eagles flying and horses. And Is when this... you do that, something happened. And now, when you make an attack, all of your attacks right now are at disadvantage. Ooh. Oh, okay. He's seeing into the Joe Rogan plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, got to get on my alpha brain. <laughs> yeah, there's elk everywhere. Yeah, let me, let me, yeah, I'll, I'll, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, and I'm, I'm going to see if you notice something here and see what they say about this. Yeah, you, and, and you have this, this passionate yearning. You have this passionate yearning to, to uh, strike down this creature, not with that pathetic, worthless hammer of helm, but with the ax in your possession. That oh. axe is the real power. It wants it wants to be used, and right now you feel like that axe is. A, a, after this turn, you're gonna really you're gonna really want. As you swing, you're unsure <laughs> with this hammer, but the axe that that battle axe that you picked up in the cavern, that is the true source of power. Love it. All right. Um, <laughs> could uh, could you send what? Can you send me the stat line on that thing then? <laughs> I can't it's remember a, it. It's a it's a, a plus one battle axe. An Uthgar. Just a plus battle one axe. battle axe. Yeah. All right. All right, sounds good. All right, <laughs> here we go. Let's go. A plus two, did I tell you? Plus two? It yeah, it's plus two battle axe. Ancient, it, too. De by default, it's plus one, but I may have said plus two because you're high enough level. Yeah. Maybe. Plus two battle axe. It's a plus two battle axe. All right. Axe. It's, a, it. it's ancient, though. Is it going to hold up? To we'll people? see. <laughs> it's the source of true power, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop my shield and everything needs this thing. Heck yeah. All yeah. right. Battle axe is one hand, two handed? I don't even know. I think it was two. Or is it, go, is it just look, one? I thought it was one handed. Go ahead Great axe. I want to say a yeah. battle Great axe too, but I like it. battle axe. Yeah, all right. Good. Yeah, all right. By the way, look at that. Look at the the uh, thumbnail from last week, and you can see the <laughs> the, the battle. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. All right, so that brings us to uh, that was you, Ekinkar, now feeling after you do it, you kind of just feel this compulsion, like this battle axe really wants to be used, and you, you feel use that all the all of nature's wrath. Yeah, bundling up around you, you have this well of frustration as if you want to release it. All right. All right, that brings us to... Jaru. Jaru, what are you going to do? <clears throat> I will cast Greater Invisibility. Okay. And then I'm going to... Damn it. 
You're going to damn it. You're going to damn it. I, how far? How far are you going to damn it? Six squares. Okay, you six. You damn it over six squares. Uh, th this being difficult terrain, you can only partially damn it through that. Can you go underneath it? You, no, I'm just teasing you. Around. I was messing with you. Yeah, there's no. There's. <laughs> there's not difficult terrain until you get into the actual. That's trees. some Puritan terrain over there. Yeah, Puritan <laughs> terrain. All right. <laughs> so, twice as many. All right, you are now invisible. Make sure I remind me that you're invisible because I target you or anything like that. Put a little invisible. Yeah, you can put like a I'm marker. Might help. Thank you. Like, all right, cool. Right now. Calm down, Nate. Hemo. Yes. Yes. You have creatures around you. You have uh, you have you have creatures, but you have one creature in particular that looks deliciously uh, like it needs to be attacked. Now, unfortunately, it is ten feet up right now. Yeah. It's not. It has not been the creature's t this this creature's turn to change his, his his direction. So you know that you need to take care of Ekinkar any way possible. So Hemo stands up. Uh, I suppose that's half his move. Uh, he picks up his bow uh, from the ground next to him. You didn't lose your uh, weapon in your hand it's because uh, you had it in your hand. You, you just fall prone. You don't drop your weapons. Okay, you, you sweet. You fall unconscious. It, yeah. In that case, I uh, I stand up. I move 10, 5, 10, 15 feet towards Ekinkar, and I loose an arrow at him. I say, my name is Hemo Oakenheel, and I I, uh, I will I I will keep attacking Ekinkar. Concar Dune. <laughs> Here comes nice. a longbow attack. Oh, nice! Eleven to hit. Miss. Yeah, you you, you, you don't even hit his. You don't. You probably hit second his, attack. His bottom of his. You know, Another right eleven to hit. I think. <laughs> Ek isn't even paying attention to you. He doesn't even notice this. His eyes are like bloodshot, looking at this thing in front of him. How far nice. are you? <laughs> All right, he's gonna he's gonna axe you. you Twenty know. feet away. Weird play. Uh, there's a bonus action coming. It's a quick toss. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and bonus toss action. Him. Throw a dagger up at you. There's two arrows and a dagger. Come on. Twenty-eight oh, to hit. Oh, oh that will hit. <laughs> Get him in uh, the ribs. What's my range? That's long range. I take that at disadvantage. Oh, all right. You're 20 feet. You're 20 feet from him. You should be able to hit him. He's also up in here. Well, I'm, all, I'm also up. D and D doesn't have any any type of angles. All right. Well, the difference in angles when is because uh, you can step up, so it's. Oh yeah. Five, yeah. It's also to the ten. side though too though. It's double. In that case, let's let's just take it at regular. The quick uh, the quick dagger hits you in the side for 15 damage. Oh. All right. Nice. Now this is superiority dice too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Ow. That one you probably noticed. All right. I Dude. definitely noticed that. All right. Yeah, the first two arrows that just missed, you're probably thinking he's attacking. Yeah, so, yeah, the metal thing. yeah he's trying to hit this oh, thing. He's like, <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Well, he did say Stop it. Stop hitting bit, me. I'm going to attack you. My yeah. name is Hemo, and I'm attacking Ekinkar. It's kind of like when you have like a like a younger brother, and they're like, they're like why are you hitting yourself? Yeah. Why are you hitting yourself? And then all of a sudden, and it and really hurts. Mom, mom. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's holding a knife. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully that doesn't. No, that's not the that. type of family I want to be in. But we're gonna we'll go with. It. All right, so that brings us to. Uh, Lear, Lear. 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 What are you gonna do, Lear? The rock lobster. Uh, Die, I can car. I'm going to <laughs> not keep you too <laughs> on the tower and the mage within. So I'm just going to double move right up to the door. Where would he go? And uh, crack right. my knuckles. I'm. Uh, as an earth elemental, I get siege monster damage, so I can try to bust my way in. Nice. You're gonna attack Next that. You're gonna, you're gonna try to attack that door. I had to action like... double move to get here. So. Oh, okay. So you knew your next knuckle round, crack. Next round, you're gonna do that. Did the, uh, did the halfling duck back into the tower? Uh, yeah. Well, he's on the roof. Sound impressive. Yeah. You just can't. How tall is the tower? Forty feet. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. He, 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 he's not he, on the edge anymore. No. He yeah. He, into, he, he cast a spell and he moved back. Now he's in on the lit. Because then he can't lose concentration, he can't be attacked. Right, right, right. So let let, let it, the yeah. shenanigans unfold. Yeah. Guys, I'm trying very hard to not be like uh, evil DM and do crap, but every once in a while I gotta be a, just a well, little Well, I mean, then evil. they, this is an intelligent NPC, right? He, right. he should, if he's a wizard, he knows what our group has been up to, at least. He doesn't know names to faces, but he knows that we're his enemies. All right, Zindra. Uh, Z you see, Zindra run, runs over. And she uh, she looks she looks past Flatter and she's like, Himo, what are you doing? Let's see if she understands what's going on. Hit him. 
Shoot him once. She's like, ah! Yes. I, she's like, and she's like, uh, they might knock him out of it. She's like, ah! I don't think I can hit that creature, but I can get Hemo. Don't hit him in the eye. <laughs> gotta, try, gotta try to hit you. Yeah, the Ranger, face. he's my quarry. I rolled it. I rolled an 18 plus six. It's gonna hit you. That'll there hit Hemo. Go. You're gonna take, of course, max damage, which is gonna be uh, 10 said, points of damage. Not in the eye. 10 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Pooch. Ow. Make your save. And make please it. make the save. Wisdom save is a no. 15. Oh uh, uh, no! Uh, you hit. It. She's like. She's like. Mother. Sorry, I took <laughs> eight damage or ten. Uh, no, ten. Uh, uh, ten points of damage. She yeah. she just goes and she fires again but misses you. She's like she's like this would make it easier if you look like Ekenkar and she kind of laughs. <laughs> all right, that break. Uh, <laughs> she gonna move it all? Uh, this she, isn't your fight, Ranger. Up there, Stand see, down. Ten. Uh, this thing is forty feet up in the air right now. So she looks up at it. Um, I'll have her move to back to one. Stay away to, from the edge. She doesn't want to go to next to Hemo because she doesn't want she doesn't want Hemo to attack her. So she's gonna move back to there. All right, Flander, what are you gonna do, Flander? Yeah, hmm. daggers could come out of anywhere at any moment. Hmm. Okay, I. Uh, uh, yeah. The... I think it's from right about here. Yeah, I want to move to to here and see if I can hide in the bush. Okay, that right. you bonus you can bonus action hide if you want. Go ahead and give me a hide check. Okay. Eighteen. All right. Uh, Hemo's passive is looks like it's fourteen. So yeah, and uh, let's see what those pre I think those creatures are. Their, their passive perceptions are not that high. Yep, you made it. Mm -hmm. You are now hiding. Uh, Anything else you're going to do? I'm going to give inspiration to Ekankar. All right, Ekankar, hey. you're now inspired. You can't. The ins inspiration's a bonus action, right? Unless you yeah. use your action to hide. It you does, use my action to hide, then. You okay. can do that. That's fine. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm good with changing that up. So you use yeah. your action to hide, and you are, yep. a, you are inspiring Ekankar. All right. So Hemo can no longer see Flander. It's a quality he use just... of. Uh, Hemo can no longer see Flander as he ducks into the bushes in front of him. Not uh, that it matters. He yeah. wasn't my target. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see him or his awesome gloves. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is Flander. That brings us to the uh, elemental, uh, the the elemental creature here. It's going to lower down to here. It's going to lower down to the ground level, which means that you can actually attack it next round if you want. Because uh, it's going to move. It's it's full distance. It just goes. And then it's going to issue a pulse. It's going to do what they call a push pulse. Each creature that is wearing metal armor or holding a metal weapon within 10 feet of the elemental creature must make a strength saving throw. That would be Flander and Ekankar. This guy's immune. Probably Drew too. Uh, and Drew too, but just by by chance, actually Drew. By he doesn't realize it's Drew, but yeah. Uh, Fifteen. All right, uh, Graham, what'd you get? I had five. Roll a, roll a two. <laughs> ah, crappy roll. Uh, Seventeen. All right, plus, and Drew, what'd five. you get? <clears throat> you don't get the plus five, unfortunately, nope. Drew. No. Uh, just a strength saving throw? Strength saving throw. Oh, yeah. no. I get a 22 then. I got an 11. Okay, so Graham passed, uh, and Zach and uh, Mike, uh, unfortunately, Giroux and uh, Ekankar failed. Here's what happens on a failure, you take 21 points of force damage, <sighs> and you are pushed 10 feet directly away from the creature. Wow. Diagonally for Jeru. These things yeah. are repulsive. <clears throat> Ekin car flying right over the... Yeah. Boom. Oh. It literally has this pulse of electro uh, magnetic energy. But Ekin car can stop his momentum. You don't think he, he, he's probably not necessarily Mid targeting you. He did probably just targeted you accidentally. But... Boom. All right. As you go, boom, force. Did you make your savings? Are you still no. concentrating? Oh, yeah, I did that. 
You probably yeah. made it. You got an <clears> eleven. <throat> what did you? Twenty points. Then twenty-one. You got a, like advantage, right? Mm hmm. And I add. Um, yeah. I made it. Okay. Perfect. Boom. Thank God. Uh, mm. All right. And anybody else? Uh, Ekinkar, did uh, you, uh, who is concentrating in your spell? That's that's you, right? Okay. And Flander is concentrating on hiding. All right. Um, I'm concentrating on uh, keeping the other, keeping Theo enlarged as well. So. Yes. Yes. Oh, did you make your concentration save? Um, you were you were just hit for for damage, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, concentration. That's intelligence. Or? No, you have to make a constitution save. Constitution save. Constitution, okay. Yeah. I know you don't do a lot of them because you generally don't. Yeah. When you take how much damage? 21, was it? 21, force. So well, either way, it's 10. You have to get a, either well, a, he made his save. Oh, he yeah. made his save, so I think he takes half. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think I say, on a cess say they take Still half 10, the damage. Though. DC yeah. 10, con concentration. You, you made, made it. it. Okay, made it. All right. Yeah, you got it. I Okay, cool. All right, that is, oh, that's just the one creature and the other creature this one got but, but he didn't go yet right let's make sure I no. blue didn't yeah go blue there. blue needs to go all right all right blue is going to do the exact same thing Oof. that brings that's ekinkar uh and actually hemo is going to get hit anyway this thing is oh, good <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so it literally just pulses again boom boom all right made it that time all right i right, give uh, uh flander and hemo give me the give me saves strength save uh, strength. Oh, failed. Oh, oh no! Look at that. Ooh, that one, Hemo baby. fails, and Graham makes his. All right, you're gonna both take. I will just keep the same roll. Twenty-one points of damage, save for half, and Hemo fails, right? Uh, and the other two, boom! You get yes, watched over. Does. Boom! All right, uh, you make damage, your wisdom guys. saving throw. Graham that loses his spell. Mm -hmm. You're small again, Theo. Seven yeah. on the wisdom save. Ah no! Still, still, uh, still under the the the, the you have still have the passion. To I love being on easily swayed as you a fighter. You love hating Ekinkar. <laughs> you I didn't Zindra. give the order. Yeah, you and Zindra are like are like twinsies right now. All right, all right. Uh, that is the two ele elementals that have gone. All I see is a target that is ripe for a few more arrows. Theo, what are you gonna do? You're not. Sorry. You see Zio flying, and he see, all of a sudden he just goes, just shrinks up. <clears throat> that is pretty. I'll silly. put you in a square here. I, I I probably messed up and didn't do that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, right, zoom in so people can see what's going on, by keeping everybody else in the picture. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, fly up behind Ekinkar here and cast Cure Wounds on him. Thank you. I'm not feeling great. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have I'm to rough. upgrade that to a level two. Where uh, are you gonna fly to? Right over here. Got that it. Just ten feet in. Yeah, right behind. Him. Uh, so that's going to be, I think it's two d eight plus four. That looks right to me. Is that right to you guys? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 2d8 plus four. Roll high. Come on. Uh, that's pretty average. So thirteen points back that did not even cover the damage you just got hit with no but i mean it's better than nothing do you have any of those good berries left he might survive the next couple shots yeah um and what else do i got here that was a spell right so i think i can't even cast another spell as a uh if it, it's that was a level spell that you cast so yeah can't. you, can't, you okay. have a cantrip you if you have a <laughs> A bonus action that you can catch up on. I'm gonna move up and away. Did you cast, did you cast healing word or just true? True. Okay. So so I'm gonna move up and away uh, 20 more feet to finish my uh, movement. Got it. So I'll go back here and then up you 20. flying up in the air. You see these creatures? This they're this. This one's kind of standing on the ground right now. This one's 10 feet up in the air. Ekinkar is is kind of in parity with it. Flander down below. Should be more. Jaru getting kind of blown off course, but nobody could see that it happened. <laughs> where was I? I was here. I'm gonna go. We're like, where the hell down. is this guy? <laughs> All right, you you diagonal to there. Yep. All right, Ekinkar, you are standing toe to toe with this uh, with this pulsing creature. All right, I'm gonna Flying move to, to here, drop my hammer, and pull out the battle axe. All right, Those you items. pull out the battle axe. Shing, hammer flood, <laughs> hitting the ground. All right. <clears throat> Actually, your hammer 
is attached to this person right here. And as it falls, oh. within 10 feet, it literally goes, shing, shing. It's attached okay. to the creature. Gotta it's remember right that. Itself. It's attached <laughs> I, I, to I, 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 wanna, I wanna come back for that. Yep. All right. Um, all right. Let's 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 start wailing away. All right. Uh, 27 to hit, and Ooh, I am gonna smite. Nice. All right. Here's what uh, happens. Hold on. When a hostile... Uh, when a, when a hostile creature damages you, uh, you're not being damaged yet. Okay. Uh, while uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, you you return now. You you can uh, you could draw your weapon now. Remember, you don't get your additional damage of smiting that you did for your put your hammer. No, I know that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I'll have it set up right. All right, perfect. Okay. Wh which one are you going to attack? Uh, one the here? one right in front of me. Give me damage for it. All right. So that is going to be Oh my god, terrible. Oh, one and a 3, three points of damage on that. 3 points smite. of smite damage. Oh, whoa. Oh, and that's a pathetic. second level spell. And oh. the axe was so excited for it too. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. We're so that's total right, Wait, that's total of uh eight. That's total of 11. Okay. All right. Second one. 16 to hit. That will hit. All right. 10 points slashing. All right. I'm going to action surge. Ooh, Good yes. idea. Attacking again. Good battle for it. There 23 smiting again. Uh, did you already smite this round? Oh, you action surge. Action you can surge. Do it again. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. You can do it. A little better. Another seven points. So 23. What's the total? Give me the damage first total. Okay. Something. So the first. This is uh, this, this be... last attack. 17. Oh, 17. The 17. All right, just glad you, all right. we got excited, and then I get I lose track of it, so I all don't right. do that. And then final attack, nineteen, which right. will hit. Yeah, yeah, four hits right and now. nine points of damage. Nice. And you can see the anger in his eyes. The he, <laughs> this, this passion for uh, he's, uh, he's raging. Yeah, you just see. Ah, you have yeah. no idea why he dropped his his hammer of helm that he. Had, received no all, yeah all like I, I this is like a treasured item is his at this point he just drops it on the ground <laughs> all right that brings us to jaru jaru um your your dom is still invisible to go after um uh, lear all right lear uh, oh and i'm gonna i'm uh, sorry i'm gonna bonus that because second wind let's see how we do there you go here. all right 10 oh nice all right so 11 points back good all right, I believe it is now Hemo's turn. Hemo! Doesn't Lear get to go? No. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, never mind. yeah you go I forgot, ahead. I forgot um, Hemo's after me. Yeah. Is there anything so, we do to him that just does like one point of damage? Just repeat. Does, uh, do I have a clear shot at Ekankar from here with a, with a longbow? Uh, he's 10 feet up off the ground. Uh, I don't see why not. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Flander or the big metal man aren't in the way. All right, well, two more arrows coming at you. Bring it on. Those metal arrows. Yeah. Do they get affected? Uh, it doesn't say. Their, their arrows are mostly, well, probably wood and yeah. stone and whatever. Yeah, so. I was messing around. Now, crossbow right. bolts. Yeah, it doesn't say that they have different. So that's a 13 to hit him. That's a oh. miss. Now, if this is oh, three, third edition, I'd be fucking with all of your shit. Like, your arrows would be fucking over. Second it. attack, 18 to hit. Another miss. <laughs> all right. Um,. How the heck is? Oh, you know what I feel like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you he's explode gonna, into two d six damage? That seems to work. He's gonna move up here, <laughs> next to the uh, next to the big guy. Now right. I kind of see this guy as an ally at the moment, right? I don't know how you want to feel about it. He hasn't attacked you yet, uh, but he right. You know. Like all you know is you want to kill me. You don't even right. Yeah, that you're 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 just being directed to attack Ekengar. And yeah, that's that's that you have a sort of a single. So purpose. the only time he gets a, a save is it takes damage. Yeah, when he, when he gets his, when he, he at takes, the end of his turn, I believe. Um, oh, wait, he wait. takes damage. But that's the only. No, nope, the only time. Yep, concentration <laughs> yeah, concentration one minute. Jeez, like we need we need to get rid of the 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 gnome or the halfling to really do anything here. Yeah, like like lower level spells, you get them at the end of every round. Mm -hmm. This one is you take damage. Otherwise, you must destroy. shoot Ekenkar. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Emo's getting ready to draw his swords on you. Mike's Mike's Closing all like, in. I got improved in Luckily visibility and all my spells. I'm like, I got a spell too. All right, um, that brings us to. It worked. That's the worst part. 
All right, that was Hemo. That brings us to... Me a dichotomy. Face me, Dune! Oh, <laughs> I will be your Doom! <laughs> All right, Lear. Lear, what are you, uh, what are you gonna... Um, yeah, okay, what are you gonna do, Lear? I'm gonna I will multi-attack the door. Wait a minute, what, did I miss my... 15. That guy that ever went... Did I miss his turn with all the things that are going on? Because he because he, has, he hasn't gone since you went. You've already moved. I think you did, because you had him like run back, and then I don't think he had to turn. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him at three, and I'll just have him go now. Cause I, I don't want to miss his turn, because otherwise that's that's dumb. He's got uh, big spells. Okay. Alright. So now you're down below. You're gonna we'll just going. say he delayed for dramatic effect. Yes. Yeah, you want to see what Hema would do. All right. He, he moves was busy the, monologuing. Yeah, he moves <laughs> the yeah. Sly dog. <laughs> you sly dog. Alright, what's he gonna do here? Um He re he puts a finger down he he he, he reaches a finger straight down towards you and casts lightning bolt. Lightning bolt? Yeah. And it's a level five lightning bolt. Oof. Oh God! <laughs> make a make bolt. a a uh, a dexterity based save, and the save is eighteen. Save is eighteen. Yep. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a strong Big spell. One. Dex save. Said it was. A, that's a level six. And only a third level. Yeah. Bad right, luck on saves six. today, at least in this I, battle. I apologize. It's still eighteen, but it is not a. It's not his fifth level spell. I, it's only. It's only a, a regular third level. You didn't spell. level it up. No. Whew. That's good. That's. Really I, have, good. I have to see what he has for slots and what he can do, and I have a plan. So he's not going to cast at that higher level. All right. So it's going to be sixty-eight. Eighty-six. Yeah, it's eighty-six, not sixty-eight. Okay. Which is worse. One math, folks. Yeah. Uh, eight times three and a half, or six times four and a half. Go, go, go! All right, so he's gonna he's gonna hit you Let's for say, eighty-six lightning. Six and one half to the other, really. Yeah. Put it in the comments. Yeah. What do you think's better? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thirty-four points of lightning damage. Ooh. <laughs> That's already <laughs> palpable hit. Does an earth elemental take all of that? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. He's grounded though. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't he's not actually a diglet, so he <laughs> does take damage from this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Now it is that was that creature and Lear, now it's your turn out. We have the creatures in the right order. Uh, I'll take going. my two hits. All right, it's armor class is it's karma class is eighteen and it has forty hit points. The door. Okay, so I only hit it one time, but I will deal 22 hit points. To it. You do double damage to it, right? Because I do double damage to structures. But it has 18 hit points remaining on the door. You basically go boom. <laughs> All right, that is Lear. Uh, that's the only thing you're doing that round. <clears throat> uh, yep. All right, that. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll move into the ground underneath. I'll just submerge myself. All right. Can you right. only do ground, like if? Because this is like brick, you can't do that. Yeah, like I can't phase do, into it. I can't do worked stone. Okay. Interesting. All right, so you're gonna move into the ground. Remind me if I try to target you or anything. It, 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 Sounds it, good. All right, uh, that brings us to Jaru. Jaru. All right, the, this 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 half. Oh, uh, um, actually, I'm gonna give you an insight roll. Uh, actually, I won't even need to do that. Um. I Lear, good when insight. you look, when this halfling leans over, you've seen this halfling before. This halfling was 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 seen in town. In town he square. was in a box <laughs> yelling at the town, oh. rallying people. Oh. <laughs> he was, but now remember the the, the hype the, man. Yeah, you remember mm -hmm. that the uh, ogres had said that it was a uh, that it was some kind of a gnome. But for whatever reason, it's a halfling. Maybe ogres don't know so much about what a difference between a gnome and a halfling really is. That's yeah. fair. So, uh, so this this halfling was reading over, and you this was the same one who was you've seen him before a couple times. In fact, the first day you were in town, you saw him in the box. He was spewing propaganda. Rude little bastard. Yeah, yeah. So <coughs> this tells you immediately that this person has tied to Tribor in mm -hmm. some way. And tied to uh, Devessa, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. then yeah. Devessa. Yeah, the image of Devessa. The, the, the hype was the hype is real. 
Who are you and what is your relation to FDS? <laughs> Big DeVessel. They're gonna be like, he's gonna be like, who's FDS? What's FDS? I don't know. That's even... like a delivery. Oh, we just call her FDS to avoid making Zindra all moody. FDS yeah. <laughs> got a package, people. I mean, uh, uh, as moody as you like, can oh. be. Is Barnaby Dash? All right, yeah. Uh, Barnaby that, Dash. That, yeah, Barnaby Dash. All right, Jaru, what are you gonna do? Um, I've gotta smooth you down so I can see where the heck you're at. I'll, I'll cast a fireball on the, you know, basically, to, well, he didn't move, so. Nope, you can do that. Boom. Oh, uh, God. Uh, I got to make sure. Uh, yep, go ahead. It's a fireball. Mm-hmm. All right, got it. DC 16 dex. Yep, he's got a spell effect on him. Holy moly. No, about... And see what that. Are you is. fireballing the halfling or the, the halfling? Okay. Yeah, halfling. Yeah, the halfling. Smart idea because you want to get rid of that guy. You also want to get rid of this concentration save. Yeah. You know? Yep. All right. I got to see what it does because I don't remember exactly. Just a little distraction. First rule of combat: mage dies first. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've yeah. been lucky that you've been rolling roll, rolling low against your <laughs> attacks on egg. Okay, so he, he's going to take half damage from the fire, and then he gets a save for half. Because he has a fire shield up. Oh. All right, I rolled a 16, and what kind of save do I need to make? I rolled a 16, and I got to see what his dex. stats are. DC 16. Uh, is that save what I needed dex. to hit? So yeah. unless he has a negative dex, he made it? Right. Okay. Okay, he made it. He doesn't have a negative dex. All right, so he's going to take half of damage of that. So how much total damage did I take? Uh. He gets a quarter, basically. 16, eight, eight. Eight. Okay, it takes eight points of fire damage. Got it. And then make my save, concentration save. Oh, those powers of two right there. Yep. Boom. All right, and I get it. It's a concentrate. It's a, it's a concentration saving throw, right? Yep. Versus just ten. Because got it. It's the minimum. We're gonna see what he has for bonuses. He failed the sa concentration Ooh, save. What? What? <laughs> I rolled a five, and I don't have enough. I don't uh, of all the benefits I have, I don't have yeah, enough to. He's not in your aura. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, oh you're back. Suddenly, nice. suddenly the fireball <laughs> goes out. Boom! And he's like, he's like, ah! Oh. Even though he took so little damage yeah. from the very he's just wasn't the deck, expecting it. Yeah, he's like, boom! He's and like, suddenly, you're Hemo, you you you're standing here, and you're like, what? That asshole! <laughs> <clears throat> All right, that was and you hear it. You hear this guy go, "Ah, you, you little, <laughs> hey, you bastard!" <laughs> <laughs> me? You made me shoot Eric. I'm gonna skin you. That's what he says. He yells at you. Gonna oh, skin you before oh. I pin you to the wall. And I also move. All right, I gotta make sure. <laughs> then where I did go? you go? Oh, wait, under the bridge. Oh, you're on the bridge. Sorry. I'm looking south, thinking you're running away. So used to you running away. <laughs> what if I run away? Okay. I have never run away. I run into danger. All right, we'll call. We'll call it. We'll running call away, it eh? Huh? <laughs> That's true. I don't. I do remember your this point. This character running away. All right, except for the worm. That was the one time. That's true. <laughs> All right, but yeah, you're going after him. Nice. That's I've a never run away. Only made sideways advances. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job. Sweet. Uh, that is Jaru. That is, is Zindra's turn. Uh, she sees these creatures up here. You see she's going to uh, rotate around them. 10, 20. She kind of runs down here uh, as she's running around them. As she she she's happening? firing. Mm -hmm. She's firing at the uh, at the the the, um, the metal creatures right now. She's running around them. Unfortunately, dies first. <laughs> Go the half Chant it. <laughs> You're gonna hit Girl, one for just a little bit of damage. <laughs> That's why you do the mage. Hmm. She goes right. She just goes. Pew, pew, she's running, just kind of running past him, like she's just trying to circle him and keep him from attacking her. Flander, what are you gonna do? She's also Flander's going to. I think. Okay, Flander is going to move to here, and he's gonna shout out to the halfling, "Hey, shorty!" You're awfully high up there. Couldn't you see over the paving stones and cast vicious mockery? All right, I guess wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yep. I believe I failed. Okay. 
Then he takes. He. Why did it do that? It's 3d8, um, or 3d4 rather. I don't know why that did that, but it's 3d4. Roll 3D4 you, you just, it looks like you rolled damage with advantage. I'm not sure mm, why it rolled yeah. twice. You yeah. rolled six it's just and a nine. So it's I made an error in setting that up. So we'll just the, take uh, the six. We uh, always take we'll the, take the, the six. Left. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he also gets disadvantage on on attacks. Let me just check. His next attack roll. The next attack roll. Yeah, the next, next attack roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. He, as you say, he, he kind of grumbles as you, uh, Flanders, as you call down there, and he he looks and he looks and says uh, says, sticks and stones may break my bones, but lightning will hurt you. <laughs> 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 All right. That brings us to uh, that brings us to. Um, is elemental, right? Is elementals, yes. He calls. He calls okay. forth uh, these creatures. Um, this creature here is going to try to pull Ekinkar into him. He's going to do a magnetic pull. I need you to give me a strength saving throw. All right. I have a DC against you that you need to defeat. Uh. That will be a twenty-two. All right, didn't didn't work. It failed. It failed. It tries to pull that. Basically, trying to magnetize you to it. It yeah. can't do it because your saves are too difficult to to uh, uh, defeat. This one here uh, is going to try to. Is this the deal right here? Yep. Yeah. It's going to do the same exact thing. It's going to try to pull you. Everyone within ten feet. Uh, you're wait, wait, Theo. You're ten feet up, right? Thirty feet up. Oh, you're thirty feet, so you won't be affected. So it'll so be Ekinkar and Hemo. Theo tells Ekinkar to move. Both out. of you get strength checks. Move please. over the edge. <clears throat> move out of the way. Uh, eighteen. All right, and what that's a, a save. A strength, uh, strength save. Yes. Okay, twenty. All right, you're both unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Eck would listen to your advice, but he is bloodlusted by this axe. <laughs> I might be doing an area effect spell on <laughs> my turn. I suggest you move. I don't have it. Your turn's for mine. After them, Theo, what are you going to do? So you're telling me that you don't want to move? I mean, I will move around. I'm going to stay next to this thing. Yeah, yeah. he just wants to move around because to... he wants to hit in the middle. So he'll, he'll okay, delay yeah, I'll move around. Can you put me on 12? I'll delay. Sure. Go ahead, Eck. All right. I will move to here and attack. Just like walking out into space. <laughs> yeah. All right, you fly. You fly. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Bardic Inspiration for that one. Oh, nice! Um, are you a? Are, is it a D10 now or is it a D8 still? For Bardic, that's uh, a D8. D8. Okay. Right. Uh, oh! No! 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 Right. no! Oh man! All right. <laughs> Great idea. Right, next tag. Should have. Should have worked. Twenty-seven. Hey, that'll yeah. work. You are completely uh, uninspired this and day. And then <laughs> uh, I will smite as well. Oh, there, there you go. Another. There we go. Dang, man. Almost maxed. All right. Time. Another, another 24. 24? All right. Awesome. So 30 points of damage in total. That's awesome. You're hitting him with this axe. <clears throat> oh. I, yeah, just smacking him with his axe. Just like that, I I, I was so I, I knocked that's, my that's what my glasses right off. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting all into it, I just knocked my glasses off. Like <laughs> that's exciting stuff. Sweet. All right, you not you knocked that that uh, uh, you're swinging violently at this creature. <laughs> it hasn't really hit you yet, has it? it hasn't done anything. No, yet. it 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 uh, it's been trying to do the like repulse thing and then pull me in and it hasn't really been working out yeah, but your just... saves are too difficult all right i don't yeah this axe is doing something to me yeah 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 all right that brings us to uh me. theo theo what are you gonna do theo <clears throat> all right i'm gonna move 30 feet this way 5 10 15 20 25 30 <clears throat> and up another 10 while i'm doing that all right and then i'm going to cast a spell called Shatter. Oh. 
down in between these guys Ooh. right here. Got it. You're going right. to shatter. It's a 20 foot radius, I think. 10 foot radius. A creature made of inorganic a creature, material. A creature made of inorganic material, such as metal, uh, would do its save as a, uh, and a dis 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 disadvantage. Nice. Okay, so I got my savings as a disadvantage. <laughs> nice. And it's a uh, there you go. 16 uh, constitution. All right. I might have a pretty solid constitution, but disadvantage hopefully will help. So the first one, it's constitution. Yep. First one made it, even with disadvantage. Second one, miss. All right. So we'll <laughs> say the first one's the one that's closest to you, and the second one is this one. All right. So so 3D8 uh, of uh, <laughs> thunder damage is 12. I didn't roll, that's eh, about average, I guess. So yeah, that's right. damage or six for half. So it's a it's a twenty foot it's a ten foot diameter. Ten, ten foot radius. Ten foot radius. Yeah. Got, so it. I drew a, Got it. So I drew a ten Perfect. foot radius nice. square. All right. So how much damage did you do to it? <laughs> Twelve points or six Got for it. half. <laughs> uh, <coughs> that's a good spell. And twelve points. Got it. All right. Boom boom. Got it. All right, Hemo. What are you gonna do? Uh, you that 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 that. For whatever reason, this tower is here. There is this this halfling that you've seen in town is kind of keeping a guard. Uh, there's these strange metal creatures that you believe was probably the, being complained on by the ogres. What do you want um, to do? Well, I'm kind of stuck within reach of these guys. Um, this one's sitting right next to you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to haul her. Uh, Lear, pin him down. Um, and uh, to Ek, I'll say, uh, sorry about the dagger. Just keep fighting. Um, I'm going to use my uh, commander's strike. When I take the attack action on my turn, I'm going to forego one of my attacks and use my bonus action to direct uh, Ekenkar to strike. Um, oh. You can go ahead and add, if you hit, you can go ahead and add uh, eight Oh, nice. the damage if, if you hit. All right, go for it. Maybe roll that after. Come on, please. Right, hit him. 16, that did that'll it. Hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Yep. All right. So that will be 11, and then I can add a D8. Yeah, yeah add eight. Uh, 8 to it. Add 8. Okay, so 19 points of damage. All right, 19 total points of damage? Yep. All right. Sweet. With my second attack, I'm right, going to... And then it, it just oh. goes... Yeah! Awesome. <clears throat> that, that helped a lot. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Does the, the half two of those things hurt how do I, now? Badly. How do I feel about this axe yeah, no, right, now? Right, um, you haven't been hit yet, so you feel you feel like. But this is the axe. This is the thing that you want to 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 use. This this spe yeah. feed your spear animal. You feel incomplete without it. There is a there is a, a sense of camaraderie, a sense of uh uh you you. You feel like you're one with nature with it. Like you you have mm -hmm. the it's like you're you're in the center of an electrical storm, but all the power is coming from you. <laughs> That's a hell of a weapon there, Eck. Mm -hmm. Um I don't even know if he even like registers you're even talking to him. He's just too into this vibe right now. All right, that brings us to Well, well that was one of my that Commander Strike is one of my attacks and my bonus action. So All right. I'm going well, to take then I don't want to take away your attack. thunder. What are you going to do? What's the second? I drop my longbow. I draw my scimitar and take a swing at this metal guy. 20 to hit. <clears throat> 20 to hit? Uh, that will hit. Yep. 12 points magical slashing. Right, hold on. I got to see this. Um... All right. Um, you uh, will have disadvantage to attack him. You okay. attack is not, but you do. So right, I'll make a second yeah. attack. Yeah, twenty-seven should still that will hit. hit. Yep. Get okay, good. And how much damage did you do to it? Twelve. Uh, twelve is the first roll. Got it. All right, you hit it for twelve. Does he see uh, a vision of no nope. of, of elks and forest no, landscape? No, right. no, he's not building the axe. <laughs> yeah, Ekinkar is using this kind of. Ancient stone, yeah. part of this old stone axe in the shoe. I assume once he's got that, he's seeing him just fine now, because he's not rolling with disadvantage anymore. Now that he's actually holding the axe, yeah, the visions yeah. have cleared. No, yeah, they're, 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 they they kind of can see him in the distance. They kind of still feel his brain, not so much like it's not his, blocking anymore. Yeah, but he just kind of has a spirit. You ever had that spirit? Like you look on top, you you walk up a rise and you look over the vista and you're like, yeah, 
<sighs> That's not how he feels. Mm -hmm. All right, that is that Hemo with with uh, attacking with disadvantage. All right, are you done? No, I am. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Here we go. The the halfling. He he looks over and he, uh, he's going to decide that um, he needs to make sure that this that that doesn't happen. And he says. Uh, he says, "You'll never, you'll never uh, get it, get this, this in time. The election is going to be over, and with that, you will, you will, uh, you will have a new Lord Protector. You should be thankful. She's here to serve you. She'll be dead soon again. So, twenty foot radius. If I put it here, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, ten. So it looks like Flander, Jaru, and the Elemental. Now you are you are you weren't into the ground, is that right? I'm in the ground, yes. Yeah, so I'll just get those two. Uh, a a <clears throat> fireball counterspell. is going to okay, you're gonna counterspell it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Sneaky sneaky. <laughs> Got it. Just a little fart noise. <laughs> Stick from uh, Mars Attacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, it's been counterspelled. All right, that brings us to Lear. Uh, is Lear? Yeah, Lear. What are you gonna do? Upon, uh, that, we'll grab him. We'll rise up and smash the door open. Hopefully right as the fire doesn't dissipate over his head. Nice. How much damage you do to it? Thirty-two. All right, your door comes crashing open. I will reveal the contents within, and I'll read you a little description here as well. And yeah, I presume he's up on a second or top, second, third floor. Anyways, 40 feet up. Well, it's 40 feet high. It's got to be Four. like right. fourth. <laughs> you, run into the, you run into the tower. It seems to be one level of a tower. Yeah. Oh. With oh, a with, a, with a roof? Um, and I'll read you the description of what you see as you run into the room. Nice looking room in there. A yeah, table. It's an uh, antique so, carpet. Yeah, uh, an old stone <laughs> a, st a stone tower stands stands tall. Its rugged exterior uh, t uh, telling tales of ages long past. Rising forty feet into the sky, measuring thirty feet in diameter, the stone that forms its walls are weathered. Their once sharp edges softened by the passage of time. Crown, crowning the tower are stout parapets. Despite the erosion of centuries, they still retain a sense of formidable solitude um, but it's but it's not the but it's not the door that immediately captures uh, the gaze of any appro approach it is the creature that's sitting in front of it so you already did that let me see here um, I'm gonna drop down to it's what's like, what? inside <laughs> well yeah Lear's, oh, it's pretty, Lear's pretty impressive all right <laughs> all right here we go inside the tower uh, the iron door creaks open as you crash it open. Surprisingly, the inside of the tower has been dressed up for high society. A luxurious table and five chairs sit atop a stylish rug. Uh, a seating bench that that looks comfortable to enjoy a day's lounging is pressed against one wall. A large chest with a sturdy lock is on the opposite side. Beside the table is an old rusty metal shodden ladder leading to a trap door in the ceiling. That's what you see as you break it open. The so trap door opens. The trap door looks like it is. I'll give it a 50-50 chance. Looks like it's shut. All right, and the roof, the roof is intact, so the ceiling's intact in here. Yeah, yeah, the, the roof is intact. This this guy is on top of this this room. Makes sense. Uh, he's just running around up there. There's a shot. There's a there's the ladder right there. You can see it, and you can run up and down it if you want. All right, uh, that's you broke that up. Anything else you want to do, Lear, after doing that? Uh. No, I'll just come inside for now. All right, you you uh, yeah, you slide, the climb door. within the door. Do you wipe your feet on the on the doormat? Absolutely not. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow. That rug is that's, that's rude, a nice rug, rude. man. Really pulled the room together. <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. What are you doing in there? All right, that is that is Lear come crawling through, trying to get through into this this tower. Uh, that's what that's what you see right now, um, and that brings us to who's next. Jaru. That brings us to Jaru. Jaru, what are you gonna do? Synaptic static is going to explode at the top of the tower. 
Synaptic. Was that a shadow right. run move? What? what was with all those d6s? Right. Eight d6, dang. What in the world? So an intelligence save. Hold on a second. Which... Oh. Yeah, no problem for yeah. him to make. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm sure he's... Well, you have to tell me the number, but I got a way above 20. 16. Well, 16. So. Yeah. But, We're so he takes 12 level. points of psychic damage. 12 points of psychic damage? You got it. 24, half, 12. Okay, he takes the damage. <clears throat> All right, and anything else happen to him? Not with a... Not when he makes a save. Unless there's any other creatures near him. By the yeah, way. Anything, anything up yeah. else up there is... Okay, if there's anything else up there uh, that would have to also make a save, it's like an area effect up there. Yep. yep. Watch, there's uh, hostages. <laughs> We're just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he uh, did it. Uh, he did this. For some reason, yeah, there's no. hostages up there. It's, it, somehow Jorlins is up there. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus, she gets around. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get. What is happening? It's been at least, it's been, it's been like 15 minutes since I've taken Jorlin's, or, or I, I've never actually taken Jorlin's houses, but I've sh- shape shifted those Jorlin's. Yeah, you, right. you, you need really to need set up. On that. You need to set up some sort of secret message system with Jorlin's, so the next time you run into one of her clones, <laughs> you can we, know we for need sure a, right we away. We need a hand sign or something. Some sort of secret, secret code names or something. Ooh, like in Dune, where like they have their own hand speak. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, from, from overhead, you can see that, that Zindra has run up behind the here, and she's fired a couple arrows up at that <coughs> sorcerer, but it's not bad enough to, to hit, hit it. <laughs> All right, that brings us to Flander. Flander, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and hit him with the Ray of Frost. Pew. All right, you're going to try to fire him with Ray of Frost. All right, is it, it's an yep. attack roll? It's an attack roll. Go yes. for it. Frost Eleven. Get, getting frosty. Mm, probably doesn't hit. You hit. Eleven. Eleven? No, not mm. enough. No. Boot. Does it make okay. the party standing on slippery, though? Huh? Yeah. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds good. Four All right. nine points. Creature gets to go. Creature gets to go. Do your worst, metal man. Oof, don't tell him to do that. It's, it's, uh, his worst is, is really right. painful. It's it's gonna, it's, it, it, right. looks, it looks down at you, Hemo. And I'll move the map so everyone can see. Looks down at you, Hemo, and decides, well, enough of this stuff. The best thing to do is just to crush you like the little cr- insignificant creature that you are. Yeah, you I flesh, point my sword flesh, up at it. Water bag. <laughs> It makes two slam attacks at you. I'm a bag of fey magic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mostly fey magic. All right, armor yep. class 18. That'll meet it. And I'm, ooh, 17 plus, uh, plus 7 is going to be enough. So he's going to hit you twice. Least. Ouch. Yeah. So the first hit is going to hit you for... Oh, not the awesomest damage. Seven plus four. You're going to hit for 11 points of bludgeoning. And six plus four. And ten, and ten points of bludgeoning. Eesh. Um, th- oh, on that first hit, I'm going to use parry. I'm going to roll superiority die. Nice. Ten on the yeah, die. So the go. first hit, 11, doesn't do any damage. Good, good. Oh, and the then... second hit does 10. Yeah, he's not charged yet. All right, so, so he, so that's what he does. He just goes boom, boom. The second time he did uh, ten. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I parry the first, and I take ten damage from the second. Boom. Ten plus your dexter- full parry, though. That's nice. really cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That is awesome. All right. So yeah, that's that's what you hit. Just just a just a getting a big long fight here. Uh, Ekenkar, what are you gonna do? Um. Does does this axe is it specific to these creatures, these golems, or is it just like a general like it wants to be used? It wants to be used. Okay. You're looking at Hemo and you're like, hmm. Yeah, yeah he, Hemo. he did some sus stuff, you know. <laughs> we've been um, we've been questioning him for quite a while now. But you haven't been hit. That yeah, we we kind of think he's a yeah we kind of think he's a betrayer right now. <laughs> um, no, we know no, what uh, happened. We we know what happened. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it was my ball. I'll, he made me I'll get in here 
Oh, flanking. Uh, with flanking, uh, with Hemo. Okay. You're coming down to we're gonna stand. Down we're going to stand and bang together. Well, I'll, I'll float and bang. All right. Um, first attack is a 18 to hit. That will hit. And I will smite on this one. Nice. Uh, another 17 on top of that. Eight nice plus job. Seven. All right. And second attack. Um, 19 to hit. Should hit. And then an additional seven. All right. All right, you you start hitting into it, boom, boom, your stone axe just crushing into it. Right. All right. Down to my last two smites. And that'll be it. Nice right, rest yeah. before we go and take Duvessa down tomorrow. Yeah. All right, that <laughs> brings us to that, yeah. That that is uh, that is um. He, uh, Theo, what are you gonna do, Theo? These creatures are there. They got this, got this spellcaster up there. Uh, he cast shatter on the metal creatures last round. This time he turns and looks at the uh, spellcaster up top, and he's gonna cast it again, but on this guy or near this guy. <laughs> Area effect, sixty foot range, is perfect. He's only fifty five feet away, and uh, so he's gonna have a Constitution savings throw DC sixteen. You're gonna cast it on the the wizard. Yeah, near him. Yep. All right. Ten foot uh, radius, so it's yeah, it's the area. Yeah, he'll right counter spell you. Really? <clears throat> okay. What level spell is it? Uh, it is a second level spell. Okay, so it's gone. Okay, so he actively counter spells. Yeah, he just counter spells again. <clears throat> All right, and I'll fly towards him. Five, Down 10, a reaction. 20, Twenty-five. Yep. Thirty. Yeah. I'm just like making a line right towards him. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <clears throat> Absolutely. He's got you feeling you kinda of feel he sees he kinda of, he feels that the something below. I mean, even though the door is closed, he kinda of looks back, he's like his, oh, uh, I'm kind of his armor him. starts glowing and his he, he holds up his fist as he's coming towards him. There's this little, little little bit of crackling going on with electricity. <laughs> just for color, but you know. Yeah. He's coming right towards him. Alright, do it this way then. <clears throat> I got us here. Okay, good. All right, that brings us to that is Theo, uh, Hemo. What are you gonna do? You got this creature sitting right next to you. They're all everyone else seems to be racing toward uh, that that halfling uh, sorcerer or wizard or whatever he is. <clears throat> okay, but the uh, the metal creature is still there, so I'm going it is. to. Oh boy, I'm gonna draw my second scimitar. Um. <coughs> I'm just gonna swing away here. All right, First, go for it. You have to cast with disadvantage. Just attack with disadvantage. At disadvantage. Okay, uh, sorry. This is flanking. the second yeah. attack. You still have flank. Is that? You hit him. Okay, so the first <laughs> attack's gonna hit. <laughs> yeah, Eight nice. points magical slashing. Wow. Nice. Second main hand attack at disadvantage. Will be a 15 to hit. 17 with the two for 17, 17 with the flanking. That's a hit, yeah. Should do nine points magical slashing. That is awesome. And wow. then... Because <laughs> he has a metal weapon. A bonus attack. Uh, offhand scimitar. 27 to hit. Ooh, Dang, Christ. look at those rolls. All right, There's 11 does points have... of regular slashing. Regular, yeah, there's half damage, though. Yep. Okay, boom, boom, hit it. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Bah, screw it. Action surge. We're doing two more. Oh, boy. Woo! Yeah. In hand Get attack him. at disadvantage. 14 to hit. Well, 16, 16, 16 with the flanking. 16 with the flanking? Yeah. All right. Uh, that will hit it. Yeah. All right. Good. Sweet. Sweet. Nine points magical slashing. And that last. will destroy it. Oh, you did it. Oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> My second attack swings through the air. My and fifth you hear attack, this, I mean. this halfling up here. It screams out. You mother! He just starts. <laughs> he, he, he's just really upset right now, and he looks back at the door, and he's like, "Ah!" Time to start talking. Really. Quick. Dominate that little man. <laughs> All right. He says. Uh, he says. Um, he says. I fear. I. I fear my allies more than I fear my death. They're not going to kill you. They will. What? <laughs> I'm just going to hurt you a lot. All right, there. Uh, it's turn. Let's see who's gonna do. Let's see if he has anything left here in the tank. For example, do you fly? They might not kill you, depending on what happens tomorrow. 
All right, that brings us to, let's see if I can open up the right one here. Uh, he is going to, um, Theo, he's going to hit you with uh, a magic missile. Do you have a shield or anything to use or anything like that? <clears throat> you can use shield to shield to say no, uh, otherwise they hit you. I know, right? You still haven't gotten shield. 15 points of force damage, points. right? Okay. He takes it. He's still flying right towards this guy. <laughs> I know that one. Um, concentration. Save there. That's true. I have to concentrate. Uh, give me a... I'm going to do concentration at advantage uh, versus 10. Go. Yay! Right, made you're it. still Boom. flying Hooray. over there. Even nice. though you're almost on the ground. All right. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. Come come this way. Heck, let's go. Oh, I'm, I, I know where I'm going. <laughs> It's going to move to. Let me get this to here. We appear to have lost Graham. Circles video. around the outside of the uh, of the uh, tower. When trailer park halfling goes around the outside. Around the outside. Yep. Yep. He he drop he swings around the outside of the tower. And that's what he does. Um, um, and then he leaps into the darkness. And you hear this. Ah! Uh, oh no! Fuck. <laughs> I see him oh, no. dead. Yeah, you see him just jump off. Anybody know speak with dead? I thought about taking that spell. All right. Uh, I don't know if does anyone uh, in range have the seriously spell just that can be cast as a his reaction. Ass off. He's yeah. just laughing. He's like, <laughs> all right, that he just leaps <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Lear, what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, <coughs> I was gonna go and chase him up there, but well, you don't um, know. Give me, give me a perception roll. Give me, you have to give me a perception of uh, twelve or higher, twelve or higher to have perceived that he leaped off. Yeah, Theo's definitely laughing though. You got seventeen. Yeah, so you know that he, he, he probably leaped off. What are you gonna do? Um. Well, I'll, I guess I'll spend my turn investigating this uh, this room. And then, see, it, we're looking for information. See if okay. I can find anything of, of import. All right, you're gonna look. You're gonna. That's a two. I don't think I find. Much. All right, uh, you investigating a two? Well, give me a perception roll first. So, oh, you rolled perception a perception roll. of seventeen. Is that? What, oh, that was the other one. Give me a that regular, was to regular perception. Check. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve. All right, looking around, I just you just find exactly what I told you that you found already, which is um, nice rug. Yeah, nice table. rug, table, beautiful areas. There's a chest here. You can always try to open the chest if you want. You don't see any traps as far as, <laughs> as that you know. I mean, it was a nice rug before you tracked in all that dirt. Really? I mean, yeah. we have to have a talk. And then later. trampled it in <laughs> heavy AF. So, yeah, so there, there's the, the rings going up. You see a, a seated bench that looks comfortable to enjoy a day's lounging is pressed against the wall. A large chest is the, with a sturdy lock is on the opposite side. Behind the table is an old ru rusty metal shod ladder leading to a trap door in the ceiling. No papers on the table? Uh, let's see. No, nothing on the, no papers on the table. Okay. Yeah. All right. That chest is obviously what we got to look at next. If we can't get Mr. Rand's input. All right. That brings us to, that brings us to, we kind of finished this round up for anybody. Jaru, what do you want to do? Five, 10, 15, the, the door. Is there a, le is that a ledge across there? Yeah. I'll, I will, I will show you what you can see. Yep, as you can kind of see, it kind of wraps around like that. Does he see like a corpse or like a dude Can on I his back? To there. Well, yeah, he's yeah, got to fall. Give, me a, give me a perception roll. Well, but yeah. that's a long. Who, who fall. doesn't have feather yeah. fall? Like, come on, guys. Yeah, like he's got, he's got to fall eight. One, he's got to fall eighty feet. So that's going to take some some time. Well, yeah, but, you can fall up to 200 feet and around. No, but Featherfall yeah. puts you down at 60 feet uh, around, I think. So he could be safely at the bottom right now 14. if he timed it right. All right. What you can see, uh, you you can you don't see anything, but you hear something. You hear something that is 
happening down the ravine down here. You can hear somebody scurrying down there. You don't see him quite yet, but you, you hear some kind of scurrying or moving around. <clears throat> now call out, he's down the ravine. You just hear Theo still laughing overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Not the time. <laughs> what you want to do? What's, what's the question? Um, is there is there more ledge here? Ah, uh, well, the, you could try to you can try to jump across if you want. Um, the, it's precarious at this point. Going around the other way is safer. You can try to jump over here. You can, I'll just give you an athletics check to to make the jump across. Or I just blessings of the Raven Queen over there. That's fine, no problem. I will draw a little bit more of the distance. <clears throat> All right. it looks like we're but where are you gonna put I'll, I'll kind of draw the that's the square kind of like their ledge where do you want to be on the ledge if he if we wanted to go that way he could do he could probably, probably to be part. on this yeah right there okay cool so let me draw oh. what you see you can see him scurrying down below right here and I'll kind of cut you kind of give you a little of this <clears throat> you can see he yeah he, uh, he clearly had, had, had leaped off Cast feather, feather and, and cast feather. He ran around, leaped off, cast feather off, but he ran into movement at that point. That's what you did. <clears throat> yes. And I will cast uh, chill touch on him. All right. Give me a chill touch. Oh, I get advantage too. Yep. Oh, oh I tried yeah, that. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Nice. That was a solid hit. 27 points of damage. Nice. You did a good job. Necrotic. Necrotic damage. You hit him for 27 points of damage. Uh, he's still right. up. Though. I'm dead. We need to pin him. Yeah, we got to do some non-lethal now. Boom. You hit him. He looks up at you and he's, he looks up. You're still invisible, right? He kind of sees you scurrying around out there. He's, he kind of he kind of gives you a smile. He says, you have no idea what you're about to get yourself into. That's that's why we're gonna grab you. You're gonna tell us. Are you done, Jeru? I'm done. Yeah, All right, done. Zindra, way frick over here. <laughs> Zindra, where's your Raven Queen? Come on. Yeah, come on. You got Dimension Door, right? <laughs> she comes running. She comes running up, and she's like, she's like, uh, she's like, if you see that bitch, save it for me. I'm gonna shoot her in the face. <laughs> she she runs up the hill and she looks around. And she's like, where the Fuck is she? <laughs> She's looking for. Uh, clearly, she must be looking for Divessa. <laughs> yep. Ow, oh, sure. Lear, get out here. All right. Okay. All right. That brings us to Flander. What are you gonna do, Flander? I am presuming that uh, when that thing disappeared, he dropped my weapon somewhere in about this area here. Sure, that sounds fine. I'm gonna go get them. Same thing with X Hammer is probably in this area too. Yeah, it's just on the ground. Yeah, it's yeah. some. It's on the ground. Yeah, mm -hmm. somewhere here. All right, uh, that uh, you see Flander running off after his weapon. All right, um, that, that that is Flander. The uh, that <coughs> is now Ekinkar's turn. Ekinkar, what are you gonna do? Ek is going to double move over to here. Oh yeah. It's six He's following this guy. You're flying. You're like, Shh. I'm flying after this guy. His cloak. I got billowing behind. Billowing behind me. I'm you like, swing down into the ravine, so you're ten feet above the bottom of the yeah, ravine. Yeah, like I'm like, up right now. I go under the bridge. <laughs> nice. Like after him, I'm like right yeah. at this. I'm coming after this guy. That I am awesome. going to. This is the way. Yeah, my uh, my so next turn is essentially I am going to just pin him to the ground. Yeah, there you go. smart idea, smart idea. I'll, I'll reel a little bit more of the area while you're while you're down here. There you go. I'll move over. He's here. like if uh, Superman was playing football as a linesman, right? <laughs> yeah. Just... Oh, yeah. All right. All right, you 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 fly over you fly over there, serving it around. He, that brings us to Theo. Theo, what are you gonna do? 
Um, I was over it. I was just heading right towards them. We keep going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I come over the edge here and I see him scurrying down there. Uh, 60. I'll go to there. <clears throat> so I'm still I'm still up that high. So I'm yep. 80 feet above him. I believe. Yeah. Um, you're, you're, you're 40 feet above the tower. Just come flying over there. Yep. <laughs> just barely over the top Chris of the tower. Chris the Reeve style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Floating the, over the edge. The, the best. Uh... That was a double move to get there, so... Uh, you, he's not behind ledge, so you can see what color underwear he's wearing. Uh, he'll stop <laughs> laughing at this point. And uh, just sees that car flying around even faster than him. He's like, start, to, start smiling. Like, yeah. yep, this is working out. Yeah. No, yeah. They, like I said, X eyes are like bloodshot, staring at this guy. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, that is that is uh uh do we see a thing car? up here what's that do we see a thing up here yeah thing? uh you do yes this appears to be a portal a door a a uh, some kind of a device a round device you from your angle you can't quite see it you're kind of looking at it just the looks top like the, like a stone top oh my god stone. no it's a it's a metal it's metal yeah okay yeah it's metal. some sort of metal device done. is it ring shaped kind of it looks spherical but that's all you can see yeah, you're literally angle. looking at the top part of it you can yeah. see like it's like curved like, is what I'm asking because up, up top it'd be yep, either curved yep, or it's, flat on the top. It's it's curved. It looks like it's gotcha. curved. That's what you said, right. sort of portal-ish. Uh, see, he'll he'll call. Is it is that a portal? Yeah, it looks like a portal. Yeah. He sort of just asks all out. That's it for me. Okay, cool. That brings us to. That brings us to. Hemo. Hemo. I am not uh, flying, so I'm going to have to climb down. Um, where did we leave that uh, that grappling oh, hook? It's way over here on the left. Yeah, it's way behind. All right. Um, I guess I'll uh, I'll just start booking it. Um, I've got my swords here. Could I scoop up my bow off the ground? I would say yes if you have a free hand, or you can, you can definitely do that. So you're, you're way back down the bridge on the other side. You're going to scoop up your weapons and run toward everybody else. Yeah, I'm going to take a double move to the edge of the cliff. All right, you're, run, you're bonus running. Bonus action, second wind. So All right. D10 plus fighter level. You end up down there. Got it. 12 points of HP back. Nice. Nice, rock, but it's nice roll. Yes, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't okay. think that was a very good roll, but uh, uh, good to get yeah. the back. At I least I got it was as a full, my, my, <laughs> my fighter level. <laughs> yeah, as a full fighter, I get 10 points flat. Yep. That's good. Awesome. All right, that is, that is, uh, Hemo. Hemo went. Let's see who's after Hemo. Oh, the guy goes. It's this right. guy. All right. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? He's got the reduced movement. Good job, Jerome. I, I love touch. the reduced movement. That it's not is reduced awesome. movement. What's that? Is it? Oh, oh, it's lack chill of touch healing. Is the healing one. Oh, the healing one. Oh, no healing. Crap. I don't have cold uh, ray of frost. Yeah. I went with right. chill touch because that was more thematic to. Makes uh, sense. To uh, Shatter Kai. Actually, ray of frost would have been apropos as well. Okay, eh, he, looks up, he looks up at you, and he gives you a smile, kind of where you're at, where you're at. He gives you a, he gives you a smile. Um, I want to give you an insight room. What'd you get from your insight? Six. He, something happens that you're not sure. You're like, you're, you're too far away, you're whatever. And um, he casts Misty Step. <laughs> yep. Cast Counter Spell on yourself. And he, he does Misty Step to there. But See, I counter What's that? You didn't counter spell yourself. Welcome to the the name of the game is is Factions of Fate, and he just changed his fate. He literally had you cast your spell on yourself. This guy has the ability to change the target of a spell. Yeah, crazy. Well, one time. Yeah. He literally he literally uses special power. He looked up at you, and he, when you cast it, you literally cast it on yourself. It's awesome. <clears throat> Crap. Yeah, he, he mentions doors to here. He takes his glove. You see his glove has a gem on it. He sticks it in the door. That's his action. <laughs> and 
and he phases into the door. <laughs> Dang it. And that's where we'll end. Oh, oh, oh geez. <laughs> I just, uh, wasn't, I just finally wasn't get to pull. The, I finally get to pull my first of my my uh, my uh, lore uh, rule breaks that I get to do. Nice. I was hoping that you would see him because because I would get more uh, more of a action mm -hmm. to what was going on. Yeah. So. Huh. Yeah. What a little. He's pretty powerful, actually. Yeah, he got. He gets to. He he has. A, he has a special thing he could do. But so yeah, he literally gets uh he gets to change he gets to change uh the target of a spell. So when you cast a spell, he can redirect it to target something else. You cast this, you cast a spell magic, and he casts it on you, which is awesome. I love it. All right, cool. That Ooh. that's where we're gonna end up. And he has phase, phases into the door. Wow. Yeah. I was waiting, Turned I was saving it. I was like, I was like, I want to do this one time really cool. Good Good wait for him to get out of out of his uh, pickle there at the end there. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was like, they always teleport, don't they? Well, actually, <laughs> I didn't mages. think about, I didn't think about him going into that place. I thought, I, I didn't realize, I didn't, my plan wasn't having him do a retreat there. My plan was going to have him, um, because he has also a way to switch places with somebody. Yeah. So he, I, I was gonna. I was going to try to have him switch places with the um, elemental, leave the elemental here for you to fight while he was way over there to escape. Oh, sure. But you destroyed the elemental too damn fast. Yeah, he was, he was yelling about that happening. I and I was so. like, ah, oh, crap, that goes that. that and so then I was like, well, he does have feather fall. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could do that. I yeah. kind of had to come up with a plan. I, I was really, really uh, um, hoping somebody did, did something, you know, major good damage to him that he could flip and attack you with. But but he's like, no, no. The chill touch was pretty solid. It was a critical hit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I, I, I actually, because when you said 27 points of damage, I was like, well, that's a lot of damage. I probably should have did that one. But then I was like, maybe I'm glad I didn't because then he could flee. Okay. So, well, anyway, we're going to be, we'll see you guys in two weeks because we'll be off uh, for the, of July. The, the early part of the 4th of July week. So we got a bunch of stuff going on. And I'm going to uh, make sure my uh, daughter's all ready for her run for Miss Colorado, which is really fun. You know, it's a, it's a fundraising opportunity. She, they raise fundraisers for good causes, and she's going to have fun with it. So, All right. We'll see everybody in two weeks. Enjoy the, uh, uh, the 4th of July break, and we'll see you then. It'll be fun.